check one two one two microphone check one two one two Really asking them? I'm telling. If they were looking for you. <laughs> Yo, anytime a nigga said that in a rap song, it sounded like super hard. Like niggas was looking for him. No. That's that's stressful. <laughs> All right. I love you. Oh man. No job. All right. No worry, and I would have loved to let let that rock further, but. Still getting acclimated to all the Spotify rules here. We got away with last week. <laughs> yeah. And now the studio is much more filled than it usually is. Yeah, yeah word. Then they popped up. <laughs> anyway, Mike Check, welcome to the Joe Button Podcast, episode 180, right? Correct. Hey, look at me. Episode 180. Uh, my name is Joe Button here with some of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here. Parks is here. Rory's here. Erickson's here. Savon is here. Dill's in the kitchen. Ian's in the kitchen. And Spotify is in the good job. <laughs> uh, so I want to shout out to all of the uh, Spotify, whole Spotify community. Salute to all the real niggas that tuned in us for the first time. I want to shout out to the YouTube viewership. It gets to y'all. When it gets to y'all, sorry. Nothing I can do about it. Now. All right. <laughs> I'm working on that. See? How how is everyone doing? Practicing that shit in the mirror. Yeah, man. Right. Like the, the way that we used to practice rapper hands. Now I'm in the mirror practicing monologues. Oh, it, it's podcast so podcast hands. No podcast <laughs> revolt. I'm in front of the mirror, super close. Like this week, we're gonna. Like, <laughs> yeah, your little Dateline that, impression. Yeah, that close up is that shit is pretty it's funny, intense. Man. <laughs> I can't even defend it. <laughs> Wait, me and Ian went to them the day after and said, hey, man, we got to do something about the shot. Come on, Puff. <laughs> That's a nasty Puff should shot. be doing that, not you. And, it, and you. they said they was going to do something different. Then I looked again and it was the same again. Same. I was looking at my fucking bullshit ass eyes. I hate my eyes. <laughs> I hate everything about me. I never want to see myself. <laughs> but where, where, is that, where is that energy supposed to be taking us in that broadcast, though? Like when it's so close, I don't I like. It's just like it's close up. We were going to, for like to Joe's silly ass right afterwards. We were going for an intense thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can see like, that. It was supposed to be like a strong right in your face. Uh, yeah, and then like it, all your pores, and then the jib. Yeah, then the jib should fly away, and then it's like ah, that's the whole Joe right there. <laughs> Look at Joe in his TV bag. The and then jib you do the flow. walk away. Yeah, uh, right. All right, all right. We're not, jib. All right, we're not starting. We're not starting this way. When you learned about the jib? I'm. I'm. I recently. <laughs> <laughs> recently. <laughs> I'm new here, man. I'm learning everything as I go. Yo, Erickson, why don't we have a jib in here, man? Yeah, hey, we gotta get a jib. Erickson is trash. What you got? A, a five D still, nigga? <laughs> oh man, we got upgrade. <laughs> What the fuck is going on with Erickson? That shit funny, by the way. Yeah, word. Erickson's like, I'm out of here. All right, so let's talk about... Uh, wait a minute now. Wait, everybody's all right? Y'all just got right into joking on me. I didn't see how everyone was doing. No, we were complimenting your, your new show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. State of the Culture, brand new show out. Thank you, Rory. I'm not sure that that's what you were doing, and I certainly that's wouldn't... That's how friends compliment I wouldn't each other. plug this early. Your only, only your thirsty ass plugs this early. I kind of <laughs> wait till 50 minutes in to sneak mm. it in. Well, no, Maul, they're listening right now. Maul has the chain out today. Supreme dad hat, no kids. <laughs> um, roses on his jeans. Nah. Jordan eights. Th those are ninjas, ninja chicks. What's up? I like du this. dual rubber bands. What are you doing there? What's happening here? <laughs> don't look at me. Don't look Wait, at me. I'm doing what I'm doing. Don't I'm look at the rubber bands. But don't yeah, look yeah. at me. Having a conversation with y'all. What would Jesus do twice? Yeah, like what's up with this? <laughs> what did Jesus? This nigga ain't prayed in ages. <laughs> Tell my boy with Jesus. I pray every day, man. Why are you trying to paint this now? What you pray for? Health. In times like this. Yeah. All right, man. All right. <laughs> That's it, really. Listen, Honestly. listen. You get deep on your side podcast. You be, <laughs> you, mean? you be funny here. All That's right? what I pray for. What you want me to pray for? What the fuck is he talking about health? What you mean? Make it compelling. All right, all right. We don't care about that. What do y'all want? What do y'all want to start with? I thought we. <laughs> I already forgot what we picked that we were going to start with. We did Let's pick something. Let's recap the fight, man. Oh, the fight, yeah. The 
fight. Me versus Triple G. Yeah. You won. Congratulations. They gave, they gave me that shit, man. Yeah, I didn't yeah. deserve that shit. to Rory. <laughs> no, you think, I think you deserved it. Yo, didn't deserve it. Yo, it Rory fight. looks like so many of his white brothers. Yeah, man. <laughs> We're all related to Canelo somehow. ain't white. That's the funny part yeah. about all this shit. Nah, he's white. Yeah, all right. I wouldn't say to his face. <laughs> I know you would. <laughs> I know you would. You think Canelo could beat me? <laughs> In the street? Yes. yes. Yeah. If I had a gun? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he, could, he could disarm you pretty quickly. Yeah. Disarm? disarm. Yeah, he would like break the gun. That's he in his repertoire? He could disarm the gun. Yeah, he would disarm the gun. I was never the guy brave enough to be close enough with <laughs> the gun for you to die. I was, I was home. <laughs> like, how much, how all much the, is the, the beam? All the when they flip the gun over, I was like, man, they would shoot me in the stomach no, if I tried that shit. I need the scope that can zoom further. Yeah. All right, anyway, we're incriminating ourselves on our corporate podcast. Joe and Listen, uh, with the scope. back to the good shit. Who do you think won this fight? Let's talk about it. I bet on Canelo and didn't feel like Canelo won this fight. I had a whole bunch of friends in my house. I'd like to talk about that. The whole friends at the house for the fight party thing, that shit's over with. It was over yeah, with. It was, that, I, felt like, yeah. I felt like it was over with. This it. wasn't that type of fight? It should have been, but nobody was having It kind of snuck up on us, too. This sure. wasn't the fight that niggas called and made plans. This was like the fight that they just kind of popped up at your door. Yeah. Like, nobody was hype. I forgot the fight was happening until three days before the fight. I made chicken Honestly. dip. <laughs> Chicken dip. I brought some Jameson. You love that little bum ass bowl of chicken dip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Nah, no, wait, let's chicken, not thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Dip. Yeah, thank you. Right. Thank you. I'm gonna tell, tell you the, the thing. I'm gonna tell you, you the thing about chicken dip. Because I haven't seen bad. chicken dip since the old days. No, but when Joe brought that shit out. I was here, like, oh shit. The there's a little dip. bit left of who you used here's to be. Here's the thing about chicken dip. You can't really fuck up chicken dip. Shit. Go to Hooters. Go to Hooters and order chicken dip, and let the little 16 year old with the double D's bring that shit out and see if you're thrilled. I'm going to be thrilled. See if you're pleased. Oh, hold thrilled. on. Don't no. be thrilled, Maul. Don't yeah. incriminate yourself. <laughs> what the right. Yeah, Maul got to get off of this podcast. <laughs> I'm going to be thrilled. Don't be thrilled right, for the 16-year-old. Right, right. You can't ruin chicken dip. Yes, you can. It's chicken and cheese. No, it's, it's more sauce. than that. Yeah. And it's more it's than that. And there's different types of what else cheeses. What else? What do you, how do you make your chicken dip? Butter. I'm not telling the whole podcast, nigga. Why? Niggas is listening. Why? <laughs> it's a secret? Because, because it's Joe's shit. Nigga, it, I don't make it like Hooters make theirs. Well, who does probably use a, a bum ass cheese? It's I don't make it like you like you like Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. Well, don't yeah, you can't talk to me about food. What's wrong with Cracker, cracker Barrel cheese? Cracker Barrel's all right. I, you're, not for chicken dip, but I'm, what's wrong with Cracker Barrel cheese? You don't I, like Cracker Barrel? I know. I hate Cracker what Barrel. What kind of cheese do you like? You talking about cheese? I'm talking about the restaurant. Oh, I'm talking about the like, cheese you buy at the. Supermarket. You like the Waffle House? Waffle House is great. Yeah. It's better than Cracker Barrel. I like it more than Cracker Barrel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do. Hell no. You yeah, I do. Fuck. No, it ain't. Don't do that. Yeah, I do. You're going to ride with Waffle House, but you know fam, damn well Cracker Barrel. Yo, I went in Cracker Barrel one morning trying to have breakfast. They sell bullshit breakfast like cauliflower. All types of whack shit in there. Cauliflower. There's no real nigga breakfast Man, in Cracker you know, Barrel. Waffle, Cracker Barrel is way better than yo, Waffle House. They, they try to put everything on cauliflower now. Can we get back like to everything. Canelo? <laughs> No, it's good. Y'all niggas be sneaking avocado on everything now. Like that's shit that don't even go yeah. on. Like, Avocado's avocado delicious. and spaghetti. That shit could go on the keyboard. Avocado and spaghetti. <laughs> I can see it. That actually sound kind of fire. Yeah, no, that's where nasty. I get the avocado don't bolognese. Don't put no avocado on my spaghetti. Can you tell me who you think won the fight? <laughs> <laughs> I had Triple G win in that fight. I think Triple G won it, and I am a boxing expert. So. Erickson, how about you? Parks, how about you? Uh, it was close. I don't know. Savant? I'm not a boxing expert. I haven't been to the barbershop yet. And every This was more a of a draw than the first one to me. If they would have gave this a draw, then I would have been like, all right, cool. The first one, I think Triple G won that one too. But this one, it was like... Canelo, it was just the like, second half of the fight was all Triple G. So I think at everyone's head, they no were like, this is a landslide. I don't think no Triple G win in the fight. I'm in this weird space where... Well, I've been in this weird space where I just don't trust anything I see. <laughs> Tell <laughs> us about it. <laughs> Like, the it seems way deeper than right just now? Canelo versus Triple G. <laughs> yeah, it seems like you're about to take us somewhere with this. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't. I'm just trying to. No, share it's a my, safe sh- space to talk about. I'm just trying to share my like my misery. Y'all don't know the type of headache that that comes with not being able to trust anything that you see. I so why imagine. am I watching this fight trying to figure out what the deeper meaning why is? You, yeah, like why are you so why are you so invested in something <laughs> that you don't believe saying, in? No, no. Why did they rob Triple G twice? The it's point. Bad. He's been a great sport. Poor dude wouldn't even stand in the ring to talk to fucking Max. He was out of there. And I don't blame him. <laughs> Max, Max chased his ass down through the tunnel. <laughs> and he he was out. Yeah, he didn't want to. Because he, he, he knew. He was come like, on, oh, fam. No, no, you could rob me once. Yeah, but don't, don't do not Fool that. me one time, shame on me. Yeah. Well, whatever it is. I'd be having to say to J. Cole. Well, when they, fight, when they don't fight each other, who brings in more? 
When they what? When they don't fight each other in other fights, who's bringing in more money uh, to the sport I of boxing? I wouldn't know because I don't pay either of them niggas <laughs> any <laughs> mind when I they're think, not fighting I, each other. I think Canelo might be a bigger draw. Yeah, I would think so if you're going to continue to give him these be. wins yeah. and make him more popular. But yeah. boxing is the most political fucking sport there is. Yeah, well, that's that's where I'm ending with, with my whole I don't trust anything I see. Like, boxing is corrupt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still, and right? Any sport that is in Vegas all the time. Right. <laughs> Only in what Vegas? other sport just be in <laughs> Vegas? Part? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the most corrupt sport, probably for sure. Yeah. Mall, well, you... there's no, uh, there's no. It's objective how they score it for the most part. Yeah, it's not you as black and white. And people touchdown. saying, "Oh, he, just because he 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 jabbed more, but but Canelo landed more body." Floyd has literally won every fight jabbing people, like literally. But Floyd don't really get hit like that. Yeah, but I'm just. But he he don't really hit you with a lot of power punches either. Ever he's a he's more of a score he's more of a score fighter he's he's like a technical boxer. Can I just he's say, not gonna I, knock you out? Love, he's not gonna. I love when we talk sports because we trash like we even sound trash. we sound like the trash. Niggas. <laughs> no, but I just didn't like yo because he just yeah I mean <laughs> no we yeah, 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 but I, I didn't like how people were saying oh yeah he he landed more jabs but what do you mean but there's no but like he hit. all right Canelo won good for him we all think they robbed him excellent let's get to the let's get to the shits here come on Maul what defend it who Floyd. Why am I defending Floyd? I hate when you do this. <laughs> no, what is Sa- the Savon, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. When when I hired you, honestly, part of what I thought your job description would be was to dig in all of our old podcasts and find every one of Maul's lies. So so at times like what this, did I when That's I need the fucking lie, <laughs> Maul. All right, so let me rewind a little bit. A long time ago, because I like to you, you put know, that on jobs. I like I like to use foresight a little bit. I asked very early. I said, "Does anyone here think that Floyd is broke?" And you laughed me out the room. And anytime I get laughed out the room, boy, do I remember it. <laughs> so now here we are. Mm-hmm. Floyd is, has announced that he's fighting Pacquiao in December. First of all, do you believe it? Anybody? No. no well, I you don't. don't believe it? No. Okay, so me and you, I guess we really can't have to talk if you don't believe it. Why don't you believe it? I don't see the point, and I don't think anybody wants to see that at this point. Uh, well, I didn't know you were going here. No, I'm I think people want to see what I lied about. <laughs> I it took to the them what six years just to get a, a contract in place. Yeah, like I'm. They're not doing what? that that quick again. But Fam. what did I lie about though? Let's get they back. Wa- to that. They watched Mayweather fight Conor McGregor. That took a little while too. Yeah, but you watch that. Niggas will watch anything. If Aaron Judge just start fighting right now, anything well, I'll watch it. <laughs> people are watching. Yeah, I get what you're saying. So Floyd could fight anybody. Saying. People are right. for that. So let's. Back to you thinking Floyd is broken. Yeah, let's let's. Let's pretend that this fight is happening. Okay. Why would this fight be happening? For it would wouldn't money, it be so easy bad. easy to assume that this is a money grab? Yes. Of, of course, it's always a money grab with Floyd. So am I? Am I at? Am I like? Is my thinking out of, out of the box when I say that? That Floyd is broke, or appears to be, or it certainly moves Floyd like Floyd Mayweather is not broke. He moves like he's broke. <laughs> he flies private everywhere. That's expensive. What does that mean? That means he's flying private. So do, so, do, so, do, so do all the rappers that are fucking. No, the, uh, all the rappers do not fly private everywhere. I've seen a few niggas. Fam, at the you gate don't with see. Me. You're not seeing all these rappers fly private that shouldn't I, be flying private. I've seen. A, I've seen a few niggas at the gate with me too, though. A lot, actually. <laughs> Anytime I go to LA, there's always a rapper. A lot of niggas with hundred thousand the on their wrist be at the gate. <laughs> <laughs> Fuckers be on United yeah, with me. Matter of fact, I get on before a few of them niggas too. Like, <laughs> like oh yeah, single ain't hitting, ain't huh? Yeah, okay. Seventeen yeah, F, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you at? 30, 32B? No. Okay. No, I see you. Well, we you can use some of my miles, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Bump up. Yeah. Now, nah, Floyd is not broke. Are y'all 30, 37F shaming? No, I'd be. A, no, I'll choose I've that. Been, to get a I, I kind of think that that swag a little bit until the seat don't recline. Yeah, yeah. Now you're just you just know, upright like last, a fucking last, dip. Last, for the last, last row is crazy. Yeah. It depends crazy. what airline, because sometimes that's, it goes back, sometimes illegal. it don't. That should be illegal. Like the last last row should just be like, ah, right, we gonna put something here for like the the, the plane, <laughs> like, but we can't let people sit. This should be like here. another yeah. overhead. Yeah, it should, that should be like underhead. more space for the the, the the stewardess and them to like congregate. Don't put me back there when my seat can't go the, back. The plane, y'all gonna think I'm crazy. Well, y'all already think I'm crazy. Yeah. The plane is one of the places that I see white privilege in full effect. On the plane, just just there. That's it. <laughs> what about before you get on the? You plane? should get out more. <laughs> We be chilling on the plane. <laughs> Yo, Roy's had a few of those jokes that's going to get him knocked out like in the, in the past month, right? They're going to fuck him up. No, you're right. But that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, like, if me and you are in the seat, but you white, mm-hmm. we are in our 
designated seats. Mm-hmm. Plane is not full. Mm-hmm. The white guy is going to be the guy to be able to stretch out along row 16 before me. Because they're going to ask, he's going to ask, and they're going to answer him before me. And oh, then I'm going to be switch? mad. And you can't fight that dude. Right. So that's what we need to fix is what I'm saying. There needs to be some type of recourse for the nigga that gets to the free row first but can't fight. Like a, <laughs> a lottery of some sort? That makes sort? sense. I'm, like I'm serious. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I'm with that. Am I off? No, no, I'm with that. Because I'll get arrested if I get up and beat him up. Yeah. No, yeah, you can't beat somebody up. What were we talking about? <laughs> Floyd, being broke. Floyd being broke. Okay, back to Floyd. Come on, Maul, defend it. I did. Floyd's not broke. You don't think he does broke, a lot? Broke in comparison to what? The where's oh, the? Oh, see, this is where, when you know shit is funny. Him broke? This like is when has, you know the shit is funny. He has less than fifty million in his account. Broke? What does broke mean? If you asking me, I'm broke. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather ain't me. He, he ain't got, he ain't got my problems. Broke is upside down. Broke is upside down. Spending more than you're making. And that's it, right? Yeah, I don't think Floyd's spending more than you. You think Floyd okay, owes but let's, a let's, lot of Let's not get there because we don't know. I'm just talking shit. We got yeah, a podcast. But what I'm saying is that's the universal definition of broke. Mm-hmm. If you got $10 in 012, if you got 100000 in 02, if you got a million in 03, mm-hmm. you're still broke, right? Mm-hmm. No matter how much you're actually touching. Right. Or no matter how much your assets say you're worth if you're upside down. Mm-hmm. So now, to your question... You don't think Floyd is in that box? No. So what do you chalk up the funny act, the funny commercials to? The ones that 50 posts when he says, see, the champ is broke still. <laughs> the champ is taking club hostings. Floyd. The champ is, has a toothpaste commercial Floyd is on tro- channel one. 50, <laughs> 50 is trolling, man. What? No, he's not. He really had the toothpaste commercial on channel one. Well, he's not that? trolling Hold if on, it's how true. How is the toothpaste? But, we don't, but what, if, what if he got cr- a, a crazy bag for that commercial? Just to promote that that product. Yo, I can never have any civilized conversation with Maul. Well, don't businessmen try to make more money? <laughs> so, him so, just, all right, so just make sense of the Pacquiao fight to me. It's money. money. You're saying it's a money grab, but a nigga don't need money. You said he's broke. <laughs> Neither does Floyd Hove, is, but he starts all right, business. Anybody all right, that's all right, rich always wants more right, money. Like, not, you always uh, want I hate more when you money. Do that. Let's not get married to the term broke, because I see you're going to fix your entire argument but wh- around okay, that Okay, so word. what are you saying? You have to say what you're saying. Is Floyd moving like a nigga who is worth whatever we assume him to be worth? Honestly, like we can have an honest conversation. We can, you can honestly, you could make that critique without being a hater okay, or still no, being no, a fan. Like, Floyd shouldn't shit. have a toothpaste commercial on Channel 1. <laughs> okay, I see what you're trying. Again, I'm just trying uh, to. If ask it me. was on, it, it, would it all right, be all right, all right, all right. Fine, we can't would talk. Would it be better if it was I on four, Channel Four? Never mind. Would Don't it be worry. better if it was on ESPN? Like, if it was Crest? Yeah, like so. That's what you're saying. It's the brand. Maybe. Okay. Okay. There's a few of those. You don't know what type of startup. And y'all excuse it from Floyd, but when fucking Uncle Murder was in the check cashing uh, spot, we killed him. Uh, not I. That's I know swag. what he was in there for. <laughs> that's why. Check cashing commercial? That's why. I like that. Yeah, I'm rolling. That's part of his brand for real. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to piss. <laughs> That's part of his brand. <laughs> I like that. I've pissed. All right. <laughs> we we are back. Uh, listen, man, what, what do you want me to do? Uh, okay, so what else is, is not important? <laughs> Mad shit. It's, it's a bunch, I feel like it's a bunch of really unimportant shit going on in the universe. Well, that's not true. It's important shit happening, too. There was uh, bombs blowing up houses in Boston, random houses. Really? I missed the oh, one. Jesus. The, it was gas. Gas lines. Oh, shit. The gas lines. Well, that's a bomb. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, we do be having bombs in our crib. That's a bomb. Yeah, but it's. That's a bomb. That's a bomb. We be chilling next to bombs every day. That is a bomb, Maul. It's not a bomb, Joe. Fam, it's the nigga I said. Did it explode? <laughs> The nigga Adrian that I sat next to at Laurenburg Prep, he would tell you that's a bomb. You need to stay out of these places, man. <laughs> no, that was high school. Oh yeah, niggas, you guys uh, still in touch? Uh, no, okay. niggas knew not to fuck with Adrian. He'll blow that whole school up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was mad cool with Adrian. I wonder where he's at now. <laughs> I hope he's all right. <laughs> Hurricane just did. Uh, just uh, come yeah, so that yeah. That, uh, uh, yeah, Maul, that's a bomb. Gas lines being crossed. That's super, super scary. And it said that it happened to a few houses, like yeah. over 10. Shit, it was way God more damn. than 10 houses, yeah. I know, but I'm not reading, so I don't want to try to be sound factual. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, now that was I don't know what that was about. That was crazy. That's some scary shit to think that you, you could be chilling in the house and Word. because of some shit that has nothing to do with you, your shit just blow up. Like, uh, true. And we wanted, you know, that's a horrific event. Mm. And I do have a question. <laughs> Where you live? In the Bronx. Okay. You home chilling. Mm. A house a couple blocks away just blow up. Mm-hmm. Then another house blow up. Okay, at what point are you getting up? Is what I'm asking. Well, I'm up at the first one blowing up. <laughs> that has my attention. The second yeah. one, I'm, I'm going to inquire after the first one. Yeah. yeah. The, at, well, how did that happen? The second one, I'm now like, leaving the I'm area. not trying to, of course, I'm not sounding insensitive or No, 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 event, not at all. But you're just but trying to get the mindset I, of people. You know, you always put yourself in that position. Mm-hmm. I'm out after house one. <laughs> we yeah. out. Hotel up the street. <laughs> Until y'all get a, a hold on what the if fuck is going on. If they ain't got no fucking already. answers, houses just gas, gas lines cross. Huh? Shit, that's what I'm saying. That's why that shit is scary. Because it's like, but everybody has a gas line in their house. Right. So like, is every house in this area going to blow up? I'm about to get an electric yeah. stove tonight. Man, <laughs> not only that, shit. You know how many times I done lived with the nigga that was mad lackadaisical on the gas? Left the shit yeah. on. Yeah. Left the shit like, on. Yeah. Just leave it on. Click, 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 click. I always Whole kitchen smell. Yeah, I always subconsciously. I go to light a cig. Stove. Yeah, I always look at the stove subconsciously. You'd be shocked. How many times you risk risk your entire life, right? Real shit. I was definitely the guy that held that tick way too fucking long. Oh no. Yeah. I never had a stove that like really worked well up until now. Hmm. I would hold that shit too. Yo, can I <laughs> just something, say something's going up? I went to Roy's house for the first time. How was it? Yeah, it I was kind of. I didn't write that down on the docket, but boy, did I have a good time. <laughs> had a great time. Fam, you been to Rory's? No, I haven't been to Rory's. <laughs> <laughs> Why should I? Right. That's how you know this is kind of like a thing because it's Rory's. It's Rory's place. <laughs> you hear that? This nigga is a, a mat, bum. He got a mat outside his door. Fam. <laughs> no, I don't have a mat. He don't even have buttons on the elevator. <laughs> really? Can't can't get this floor. No, they gotta send you there, my G. Mm-hmm. Wow. You can't just press a button and get send, to Rory's. Send me there. <laughs> Send me, send me there. there. Send me there, front desk man. Yo, I was worry, a little man. tight that Joe just ended up knocking on my door. I was waiting for the call from the lobby. Oh, they slacking. Yeah. Mm, no, they they, they they knew me. Hey, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> they don't love, know me. Love, love, love your podcast. Yeah, still, let me know yeah. somebody on the way up though. They, yeah. They know you just moved in there around announcement time. <laughs> <laughs> no. Was there well before? <laughs> no. Turn that up. Announcement so obnoxious. Time. <laughs> That's funny when doorman know the announcement. <laughs> what happened at Rory's? Though? I seen y'all was talking about his TV. A man small. Well, you know he had to find man, something. Man, boy, when what I tell you that that was small. When I tell you that that was a tiny TV up there, oh, man. Yes. We weren't watching anything. Yeah, I saw, y'all, we're, put the, I saw we're, y'all putting the laptop on the wall. Yeah, we were just listening to some new oh, tune, right. vibing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to negate no the TV fact though. that my TV was up. Yeah, you know, see, that, don't, that part don't get highlighted enough. See, vibing is cool. It's never highlighted like some niggas is like forced into the vibe. <laughs> like that's an important distinction because Rory could turn up on these niggas. Yeah. But he chilling. But he's vibing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, y'all walked into the vibe that I already created. Mm. Yeah. Rory and, like, just know, added to the energy nah, that you know, was already You know there. what's fucked up too? Like Rory can afford a bigger TV, but like his wall is just not like, and you can't really explain that to chicks. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, the way that the yo, TV is. I asked for the three bedroom, wood. but. <laughs> I asked for the three bedroom. Yo, they said shit wasn't ready yet, yo. so I just had to chill here for a little bit. Yo, if you drop that line on guests at your house, you know, I asked for the three bedroom, but you know what I'm saying? That's all they had left. Y'all never, y'all never had to drop a line? Hell yeah. Give me one. Come on, make it funny. We, we remodeling. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you always got to say you remodeling. Yeah. If shit don't look right. Now we're we gonna knock this whole wall down right here. <laughs> think about niggas is always thinking definitely about gotta, knocking the whole wall. Gotta sell out your roommate. Be like, nah, oh, he yeah. just staying here for a second. I just had to help my man out. Yeah, yeah, throw him under this, the bus real yeah, quick. Yeah, I'm thinking about knocking this wall down. You know what I mean? We're gonna, op- we're gonna open all this up so when you walk in, it's just all open. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Yeah. Out this whole you ain't knocking I'm about nothing to down. Yeah, if you got a roommate, do you drop a few lines? For sure, you have to. Definitely got to. Especially if your roommate ain't cool. Right. And it would be trash when she would ask you prior, like, oh, you live alone. And you got and you got to be like, oh, man. well, like stay with me for a little bit. He here bit. for the weekend, <laughs> even though all his shit is in here. <laughs> Why do chicks ask us that? Like that's invasive. 
It is. Do you stay alone? Like, nah, that, do you stay alone? Nah, they need to know because they plan on, you know, can I walk, can I get comfortable? Can yeah. I walk around mm-hmm. with a, you know, right. lightly dressed? Mm-hmm. Like, if I go to use the bathroom, like, you know, is it going to be a whole nigga in the shower? Like, <laughs> like you know nah, what I'm saying? I'd be the, the real freaky chicks that don't give a fuck. That's true. Yeah, we don't want those. Anymore Yeah <laughs> I like when chicks speak, in choir Speak for your now. fucking self Yeah I like when chicks in choir You don't want them chicks no, Them I'm chicks t- ain't joking. coming In the elevator with no buddies Hell no <laughs> they, they, they gonna be mad They confused. ain't gonna make it up No in that, in that crib You can't even be judged I feel like the doorman Would judge you You have to keep a certain Caliber of woman and that In whole, that spot You can't just yeah, and Have Ro- the dirty ones coming through Rory's whole crib is white too You can't have like Certain chicks in the all white crib Yeah, <laughs> yeah they don't Too much that. makeup yeah. on the walls You'll and be shit. pine saw And everything buddy Yeah <laughs> Niggas <laughs> be trying to pine saw the wall. That's, that's for the toilet, man. <laughs> nah, I bought the big ass all purpose spray. I just be spraying that shit on everything. Oh, yeah. Why you you like, paper towel? like an all purpose spray. Yeah, you ass like an all purpose spray, spraying ass nigga. <laughs> I, never, I never all purpose it. <laughs> um, what were we talking about before that? Something important, I thought. House is blowing up. Yeah. No, but we were trying, I was trying to get away from that. You were trying to get away from house. Yeah, we were always trying to get away from houses blowing up. <laughs> We don't want to be around Nothing blowing up Especially not my house Buy us some time Thanks Yo I'm gonna wish This is a story That will go down In the love And hip hop history But what is the truth What is the truth That shit sound He came (laughs) on That shit sounded Kind of crazy right there That was kind of hard That was hard uh, remix. This right. may go down. Look at Maul. That was hard. Look at Maul trying to sneak and get a single. That was hard. I yeah, don't you try to do it in the studio. <laughs> try to tell Parks. I'm the last nigga to record. Gonna do that <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stick around later. Hit record. <laughs> All right, enough of you. Um, yeah, what was your rap name? My rap. I don't know. Look, 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 look. I look never, how fast you catch Maul in a lie. You never had rap name. Get the fuck Honestly, out of that's, that's how you know you was trash. I never really went that far with the rap. You rappers. knew you wasn't going to make it. Yeah, no. I, I knew <laughs> yeah. yeah, I knew that. Off that first yeah, like, three ball. or four bars, yeah. like, nah, I ain't it. It took him six bars to know he was going nowhere. I still, like, got, I still nah. got that same eight. <laughs> nice. That little boy Wait, eight. Well, the dumb thing about your name is it rhymes with a lot of shit. Yeah, that's true. Maul, that would be a trash rap name. <laughs> to me, why would that just be a trash lad, rap Just regular ad, just Maul. Yo, you heard that new Maul? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I wasn't a, even wasn't even a, looking. I'm gonna write a I'm gonna write a rhyme one day, man. I'm gonna surprise y'all. You've, ri- you've written a rhyme. No, no, no. I'm gonna write more. Everyone I'm write had, don't. Like, had a 16 more. somewhere in their life. Yeah. Okay. All right. So listen, I've been talking about this album for for a while because yes, I've had have. it for a while. Yes, you have. Yeah, I've I've had it for a little while and I've enjoyed it for a while. But now the world Damn, has it. Cool. So no, I'm not one of those guys. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Um, yeah, but those guys exist. Oh yeah! Oh, 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 y'all just hearing that now on the release date? Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man, we are. <laughs> yeah, word. What, what's wrong? Um, but Black's new album, East Atlanta Love Letter, is now officially out. Everybody should have had some time on to live DSPs. with it. I think he's projected to do fifty or sixty thousand, something like that, to the people that that's important to. Um, what do you guys think? I thought it was good that he didn't come out of. I hate the word sonically now, but out of that yeah, pocket. Yeah, it's over. I don't want to hear no <laughs> more sonically sonic moving forward, especially uh, in 2019. Uh, please don't but use the, the C content, word either. The content definitely changed from, I don't want to say bitter, but he was definitely angry at a lot of people on Free Black just by the title. Yeah. <laughs> this was like, all right, I think we should all fall in love again. You can't just get us all bitter and then tell us to fall in love, Black. Uh, I was on the I'm bitter sure side. <laughs> I didn't even hear that he was trying to make us fall in love. Sound yeah, like there's a lot of He was trying to love. leave his girl. <laughs> His content was very much love on that shit, and I knew that. I knew some. I knew that he was saying that when I woke up r- one morning with uh, disconnect on repeat. But like I was in my own world, mm-hmm. and since it's like yo dogs, yeah, yo, yeah. like what's, doing a lot what's, of what's good? Right? What we doing? Like enough, yeah. And I'm like, fam, you got to be kidding for us. You really want to get into the the lyrics to Supermodel? That's a fact. Talk about it. You've heard me yeah. play that song for three years in a row, uh, really Cynthia. Huh? <laughs> huh, sis? You want to get into it? I can't play black for 30 minutes straight? <laughs> yeah, I'm bugging. Joe, Joe doing a lyrical breakdown of Supermodel in the kitchen <laughs> is content I need to see. No, I'm, I'm, I'm being serious because I know that I listen to songs differently than people. Mm-hmm. So when yeah. Sin is playing this song for three years in a row, yeah, you gotta I, start lo- to I love SZA too. Yeah, but you got to start to ask yourself. But, okay. 
where where's your connection? Yeah, why is it, why are you like, connected what to bar this you like a lot? Yeah, why yeah. is this hitting you yeah, deep yeah, in your yeah, soul, ma? Yeah, yeah. like I, yeah. your life is great. Right, right. Why are you so connected to these lyrics? Yeah, and she could say, oh, "This is Lex's favorite song." Hey, fam. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Blake, I'm like, Blake all right, I, swag. oh, it is. Well, let, let's try a different yeah. one. Let, let, let's just let's, let's just see. see. Let's, yeah. let's see what other chords really. Yeah. <laughs> what fuck is she talking this about? Lex's favorite. Lex, yo, chicks are used to kids. Won't yeah. they? Oh my god! Speaking of kids, that's kind of swag, though. You should use your kid. No, I was about to say. Things. I'm so happy now that like I got a kid to claim on my taxes. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. Dope. That's important. Round of applause for me, man. Hold up. <laughs> Getting that tax break. Yeah, Congrats, man. man. You got to be got to be in the chick's good graces to get that. <laughs> 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 They're not sharing. They ain't sharing nah. the tax breaks with you now. If you ain't nah. good. Nah. Uh, all yeah, right. What did you think? Because I thought the content shift was good for the black album. I like the progress. I like I like the progression in his career so far. I love it, but you can't really ask me because, as I've already stated, dark, emo, moody R and B. Joe's a fan. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I'm a fan. You can't. You can't. It's hard to fuck that up. Mm, no, a lot of people fuck it up now. It, it, people fuck it. No, up I don't think a lot of people do it when they go. Away I don't think a lot of people do it. No, the emo wave is kind of kind of trendy now. Dark. Dark is still emo. Yeah, dark is still. Everybody still ain't dark. They are trying to. They are trying to manufacture the emo bag. This wasn't well, on the black, docket, but this is a works, great conversation. Black somehow. works because that's black. Like if you just catch him walking down the street, he's gonna talk, sound, and feel that way too. Yeah, <laughs> that's not. Dark, he's not forcing person. that. Yeah, he's not. No, forcing that's him. That. That's that's who he is. That's who he is as a person. So I think that's why it works, and he just knows how to put words together better than most R and B people because he has a rapper background. Yeah. I'm, I I just think it's so dope yeah, for everything that you just said, but I guess you can... That stuff is real visible to me. Like, the same way it's visible when people go out of their way for the tricks and the shenanigans, it's also visible when someone goes out of their way to avoid them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he is one of the people that have... That has blatantly tried to avoid him at every turn, no matter the cost. And when I sat and talked to him, the cost was expensive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, he's he's got a few stories. He's been at this for quite some so, time. So to still be like that, yeah. Now 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 I hear the dark emo shit. Yeah, I respect it. I love it. Even if I hate it, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's a great you know project. What I mean? It's a no, great it project. Is. Loaded Gun was a standout for me. That mm-hmm. record is awesome. Do we think uh, it's too early to compare? Too early to compare? Are we those guys? Huh? Huh? Between, Are we doing it between that and Free Black? Yeah, too early. Yeah. For me. Yeah, it is. I want to rock with it a little bit longer. Yeah, I mean, I would too if Cinder let me play it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to compare it yet, but I but know I mean, I'm, I know it, I already know which way I'm leaning. It, it'd be tough to compare because you can see the different place. Even though it is moody and emo, you can still see the two different places he was in his life at mm-hmm. creating those two things. One with a daughter, and one trying to get off a record label. Yeah, I'm rolling with Rory somehow. Somehow, if the second album was the first album, I wouldn't like it. I needed the first album to be exactly mm-hmm. what it was, and this is a great sophomore album to me. It's a great extension of story. Yeah, yeah. Like they both need each other. Mm. So, so I can't really compare. So, shout out to Black man. Shout out to Black. Congratulations on all the fucking success. I'm sure he he'll be on a tour at some point just because he's one of them kids. No, to stay he, touring. he announced yeah, it for he sure. Announced it. He's doing uh, overseas first and then coming around here. I think in November. Can yeah. I also credit? I want to take a minute out to credit all the artists that live on tour. Honestly, God bless you. Hon- like, like I'd be tired after one like, weekend. We or... talk about a lot of shit, music related, and I don't really think that's highlighted enough. We talk about touring only as it pertains to artists' uh, income, but man, the weird thought to stay on the road, to live on the yeah, road, to not easy. be with your family, to not eat at the same times every day, to not eat, eat healthy, shitty. to exchange germs constantly, to yeah. like. God damn, so much goes into fucking touring. Yeah, it's a grind. It's definitely a grind for sure. Yeah, it's and, a lot. And God forbid you have a little bit of a substance problem. They'll right. get you on tour. Oh, yeah. For sure. It's a tough place to Actually, be. Actually, that's if where people develop that type of shit. A lot yeah, of people develop, develop a it. substance problem yeah, from being on the road so much. Well, it's real easy to just get into drinking and yeah. getting high and shit every night because it's right there. Right? And, well, and we, don't be a new artist and you have some stage fright and your way of calming that down is to true. drink. And then yeah. the only way you can perform is to drink. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. yeah, it's not it's not as easy as people think it is. Yeah, so people, so you, so people you just show why. up to the show and see the the, the the finished product, the end of a of a of a a, a real stressful hectic day. Like 
if you was to see what goes into like putting a whole show together, like people don't really appreciate that. Like they get to the arena and the stage is already set, everything is set, that up, but they don't know that it's so much that goes into that. And th- it's really a stressful, I, stressful day. I thought about that recently, I guess, when I was watching Drake and Meek for the third time or the second time, but not the first time they came out. Mm-hmm. The uh, Philly show. One of, the Philly show was mm-hmm. the one. And I'm watching, and boy, that stage was nice. That whole one big lit up square. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They bodied that. Yeah, it's crazy. That's hard. Yeah. Such a simple thing, but. Boy, it was hard. Mm-hmm. And then Meek came out from the side steps. And he was dressed, and they had a little more uh, coordination than they did the first time. The first time, they were just genuinely happy to see each other. And yeah, then this it time, it looked like, and I'm looking, and I'm like, damn, the hours and hours of behind the scenes work for this one moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Hours and the, the and changes, hours and the hours. changes they had to do just for Meek to do one song is mm-hmm. insane. Because. Mm-hmm. You have a hard out at a certain time or you owe $200,000. Mm-hmm. Like adding in three more minutes to such a show that's that poignant mm-hmm. f- can fuck up everything. Yeah. So that takes a lot of people shifting things and rearranging things significantly. For sure. I like Dre's, Drake's little little soliloquy he threw out there, little acapella bars that weren't bars. It was like a paragraph. I'm like, yo, we're going to end this in Philly the only way that this should be done. And since we all had so much fun, him and the- whatever he did, and then me came out, mm-hmm. that was hard. <laughs> that was hard. You like that? It was, yeah, it was. like his rhyming paragraph? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually. Because I didn't see it. It so sounded like a rap. Mm-hmm. That's why I paid attention to it. But it wasn't a rap. It was just that portion how he segued spoken word the show and i paid a lot of attention to that part because wow the hours and hours and hours of behind the scenes work that it takes for you to basically machine like muscle memory like spit just a paragraph a goodbye yeah just yeah. a hey thank you guys for coming out mm-hmm. yeah i'm paying attention to all that shit yeah that and, when you, and the thing is when you're doing a tour like that it, a lot of that shit is muscle memory like Drake is now programmed for that for that show yeah. like cause I, I'm, I'm still amazed at how you can remember your rhymes and where you need to be on the Q stage points. at a certain time with yeah. shit blowing up like mm-hmm. I can't be in this side of the stage cause this is about to blow up but after a while you become so programmed to that shit and it's like so to add that that whole meek bit into that you know what Drake doesn't get enough credit for and I don't really want to give this nigga too much credit on this podcast so but you know what he don't really get enough credit for Improving, like that's interesting. Look, look at him today. Look at his show today. Look at his videos today. Look at his business today. Mm. Granted, a lot of us think that maybe the music has suffered here and there, mm. but his everywhere where his business lacked has done nothing but improve. And I thought of this because we sitting here talking about this Drake show and how the concert and how amazing it was. But that nigga was on with Migos, and them niggas is hot too. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's talking about Migos ever, and that's no disrespect. Mm-hmm. No, I get what you're saying, but when you go to the show, you definitely feel that wasn't the case with the Drake difference. and Future. No, you, you're right, but you definitely feel the difference of level of stardom, though, at the in, in the arena. You yeah. feel it. Like once but, you get there, but that's you feel but it. that's what I'm saying. That same difference existed with Drake and Future. Yeah. However, it didn't feel that way. Mm-hmm. So now, when I see the big ass lit up square. Like, just a little attention to detail that he paid, and I could be totally off. I'm just like, oh, yeah, they, they fixed that one. Oh, yeah. They, they made sure yeah, that, that this nigga show. star power <clears throat> looked like this nigga star power. I think it's all one big plan. But uh, I was going somewhere else before that. What was we just talking about? Oh, improvement. Remember his videos used to be trash? They were. Yeah. Some of them were. No, all of them didn't early. Live up to early. The song. Very early, early. Which like like headlines and before. He, okay. Headlines and before. Best I ever had wasn't great. It was Everything titty, it was headlines there, and before was, was, was okay. not, was just not it. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, best I ever had definitely didn't correlate with the song at all. Back that to Drake vs. Kanye. Yeah. That didn't make me think of nothing that was the best in my life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it really did, though. <laughs> and it, it didn't. <laughs> it's a great record, but. Uh, but that's off on a tangent. Hey, wait a minute now. Okay. I forgot. Oh, uh, I want to get into, to, while we're here, I want to get into Meek supporting Wale's re- new release because which is great that that touched my soul mm. yeah I would be lying if I said that it didn't it didn't touch my soul right but before then you know we have we have certain responsibilities on this podcast and 
you know, I consider us humble servants of the people. I do. You know what? Well, let me play some. Play some more. <laughs> Fairy dust. It's the fairy dust. So I consider us humble servants of the people. So sometimes when news breaks and it's not discussed, we could appear to have, uh, to, we can appear to be compromised. <laughs> Damn, we phony. <laughs> and because of the integrity in this show, <laughs> I never want us to appear compromised. <laughs> so I we, say... We might need the flex. I, so, I, so I say that to say... He lied! <laughs> Y'all niggas worship him! I came in today, man. Lie! Oh, man. <laughs> <sighs> Never, <laughs> ever <laughs> said nothing about him! Flex is telling the truth, man. Fucking lie. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fucking lie. So listen, I came in here today, sat down, looked at Rory and Maul in the face. Mm -hmm. I you said, did. you guys. You did. We may have a late nasty award mm. to hand out. It's never too late to give out a nasty award. Never. And, and make no mistake about it. If there were a nasty award to hand out, Better believe we would do it, goddammit. Let me hit a gunshot. Oh, let me turn it up first. <laughs> so, I've been seeing some rumors. I've been hearing some rumblings mm. about something about, what's the young lady's name? I don't know her name. Bella. She 18. No, no, it's not Bella. That's somebody else. I'm confusing people. All I read as 18-year-old. Savon, find me the name of this 18-year-old young lady that's rumored to be at fancy restaurants oh, that, uh, with, Jimmy with Drake. Yes, Jimmy Jam's daughter. Yeah. Really felt old when somebody I was talking to said, all right, who's Jimmy Jam? Oh. <laughs> it's, like, a wow. it's a father of 18-year-olds. Like, you, know, you know what? Wow. If you don't know, man, and <laughs> this conversation's not for you. It is a Bella. See, go Joe, man. <laughs> Bella Harris. Now, this young lady is rumored to be 18. I'm saying rumored because I haven't spoken to her myself. <laughs> Drake is rumored to be kicking everybody out of the fancy restaurant or waiting until they close and going there with the 18-year-old just to have a little a bite. A bite. Mm -hmm. yeah. A meal. Now, some of you have been wondering why we have not given Drake a nasty award. For such nasty behavior. <laughs> Let me be the first. No, I don't want to be the first. You want to be the second? I'll be the third. Okay. I want y'all to go out there first. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only reason we listen. didn't give this nasty award <laughs> listen, man, is because we didn't want to be gossipy. Yeah, yeah we didn't have enough information. Who are we to talk yeah, about rumors come on. on this yeah, podcast? We yeah, wanna, we, we, all of this is not confirmed. We have too much integrity. But we've been keeping a close eye on this situation for about two weeks now. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> all rumors, and we are in America... Yeah. And it's still innocent and proven until proven guilty. That's or or give us concert tickets. Right. Or my son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we could never talk about rumors on this podcast. Yeah, come no. on. I mean, come on. On. So we That's have to us. always be responsible with our platform. Absolutely. Especially right. with to. this newfound reach that we have. Absolutely. So we couldn't just spew lies or stories without fact checking first. Hearsay. God right. forbid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just wanted everybody out there to know. That that's how we're on it, man. Right. <laughs> All right, now to the next rumor. <laughs> <laughs> What's next on the rumor list? <laughs> Yo, I wish Childish Gambino would just put a shirt on. Nah, it's not happening, fam. <laughs> <laughs> he not even putting shirts on under, like, jackets. Like, Yo, he'd just be, like, at the bar shirtless. Yeah, yeah. that's his shit. And I'm sure on the door it says no shirt, no shoes, no service. He not just walked right in. Not for Gambino. Yeah. With, yeah. with the hamburger meat all out. Not for Gambino. Yeah, that's, that's, that's his look now. That's his brand. Bone. That's his brand. You gonna tell him to put a shirt on? No. He should get dressed. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> he should get dressed. No, he should Maybe finish like getting dressed. Maybe like a sleeveless dressed. shirt? How about a sleeveless shirt? No, because nah, you know I'm what fine. it is? Let me tell you what it is. I have no problem with him being shirtless everywhere he goes. But now that's accompanied by the weird dances. Like, he ain't never just shirtless chilling, <laughs> catching a vibe. No, nah, <laughs> he is the vibe. <laughs> that's not who that I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of vibe. I, mm. I was mad I didn't know about his show at the garden. He could do, a, he could do a great old spice commercial. Some deodorant shit. 
His manager got to get he, working. That was him. He performed at Rihanna's Diamond Ball, right? Yeah, he did. Shirtless. Shirtless. Mm-hmm. And Rihanna loved every second of it. Mm-hmm. All right, maybe he should yeah, have exactly. shirtless. <laughs> I mean, who, who am I? I, 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 I take everything ball. I said back. If that shit works for me, I'm just I take everything off. I said back. Because <laughs> yeah. I definitely yeah. saw her front row singing everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who should he appeal to? Us, Us or Rihanna? Or, right. They got him to the Diamond Ball. I take it back, Childish Gambino. I'm sorry. Now, I want to talk to you guys about the Diamond Ball. First of all, I didn't know there was a Diamond Ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like every year they sneak one of these rich balls on me. Pause. 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 For sure. Oh, whoa, whoa. Shit. Holy God Jesus damn. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> they they sneak your rich balls on you? <laughs> uh, psych your mind. Oh, my fucking <laughs> Dave. They just sneak the rich ball on you right there. Oh, oh my bro, God. Now I got rich ball on my. <laughs> oh. All right. They got rich balls, you solo. <laughs> damn. Holy yeah, don't edit shit. none of this. I'm sorry. It's all right. We knew that was going to happen. Every time I Every play, episode. it's not going to happen. It happens. No, it happens. <laughs> if Parks would buy real paper towels. <laughs> you think that would stop Why does it take stuff? 90 of these to clean one little spot, man? <laughs> well, it's a, it's a 16 buy ounce cup. Buy the fucking bounties, Parks. Word. The, <laughs> yeah, the, the double wine. cloth. Anyway, yeah. 16 ounces of wine. Uh, <laughs> Using way too many napkins. <laughs> 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 napkins and chapsticks. <laughs> Wait, what were we... Oh, the diamond ball. The all right, so... No, I'm not rich people ball. Like the mega, mega ball. Is that a some Met? Trump shit? No, it's not some Trump shit. Did y'all know about a diamond ball? No. Yeah. You didn't get an invite? So, Mo- I mean, it Mo- is Mo- fairly new. It's only the fourth year. <laughs> so, a lot of people don't. Four years I would invite it. I'll t- <laughs> tell you that one. Well, you don't wear many diamonds. You got to check your email more. That's what I think it is. I never feel bad until I see a few niggas there that, you know what I mean? Nah, it was some niggas there that I was kind of like, all right, listen. Hey, call me a hater. Well, y'all do. Y'all already call me a hater. Y'all call me a hater when I don't be hating. Sometimes I'm really hating and y'all don't say a word. Nah, it's not hating, though, because it was definitely some people where there. was, I was a like, few we guys call you there. a hater all the time. I know, but it'd be wrong. <laughs> it was a few of them there. No, it was. I agree with you. So who throws the diamond ball? Um, the I don't. Beers? Hey, Savon, actually, look up the purpose of the diamond ball. It's something Rihanna it's throws to... for niggas to donate money like all yeah. the rest of the balls, oh, okay. right? Yeah. And gotcha. we love Rihanna, so we'll never say anything bad about anything she does. But And she's making furniture now? So, y'all, y'all, y'all ready? Y'all, y'all ready for this one? This is I have nothing to support this. Oh, God. <laughs> this is just some shit thrown at, thrown at a blank canvas here. All right, let's hear it. I'm told from... Sources familiar with Rihanna's thinking. Okay. This just sounds Boy, bad oh, oh, already. Can you repeat Because that's that? my new thing now that we're on Spotify. I can't just say, yo, I ain't got no facts, but this. I can start saying what Chris Prasad says. Yeah, sources. <laughs> sources, sources familiar yeah. with Rihanna's thinking. See how that AKA said nothing? My, my uh, thoughts. I said nothing. Mm-hmm. But no, not mine. I would never even, I'm not, my brain is not savvy enough to think this way. I'm told that when Rihanna unfollows someone on Instagram. That's a big deal. It's, it's because there, there's, there's, She's not rocking with it. Mm. Now, I know, I know that that sounded like I said nothing at all because that's the case with everybody. If you unfollow somebody, it's like, fuck it. But I'm told that this is a thing amongst the Navy. I'd be heartbroken. I almost feel like I'm not really a Navy dude if that I, I didn't know this. I didn't know that. Navy, y'all can confirm this with me or deny it. I'm not, I don't know anything about the Navy. <laughs> I'm just in it somehow because I stand. Now, if this is true, there are rumors saying that Rihanna unfollowed Cardi. Oh, no. And Cardi was indeed uninvited from the Diamond Ball after the shoe incident. Which is, I told y'all. Now, we wouldn't assume that there's any beef here because Navy people will tell me that there's something between Rihanna and Nikki. I don't know that to be true. Like a friendship or a tiff? No, something. A tiff. uh, tiff. Mm. I don't know anything about all of the girly stuff. So I'm saying that. But, but I told you after that, that incident that Cardi was going to feel that because a lot of these events she wasn't going to be invited to. And y'all told me, nah, I, I'm tripping. See, the problem is I get Maul's thoughts, thoughts confused with Remy's thoughts. And now I don't know who be <laughs> saying what. Both, what? Both it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, BX thinking. Yeah, BX. Yeah. Yeah, listen, we're not, we not going to make that a thing. Like, we ain't going to just start throwing the BX but out But you are there. from the BX. I am. You don't think you got a little BX state of mind? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, yes. Not, not dissing well, you. We're not going to make that a thing, though. Let that oh, be the last speaking time. of BX, uh, one of the gentlemen 
uh, accused in the murder of or affiliated with the murder of Junior, the teen in the Bronx. Yeah, they found one of them niggas chopped up in a garbage can in the Bronx. Shit. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yep. That's all I got. Well, street justice, street justice will be served. Street justice is indeed alive. I don't know why niggas was mad at all for asking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never get that one still. And I ain't even going to talk about the Zimmerman Skittles thing because I feel like they just... I feel like that's the same thing. It's like the world never changes. Like in, in elementary school, the, when they used to put the little clan notes on the a treats or they used to send them to your house, like you'd be all over the street. This was in Queens anyway. Right. I don't know what's happening anywhere else, but they would like put this stuff there for mm-hmm. you to see. I feel like it's the same thing now with all this Zimmerman's tea signing skills. Like, don't show me this, my nigga. Why are you showing this to me? Yeah. Like, I need to feed my soul still. Even if this stuff exists in the world, yeah, I, I just don't want to see yeah. everything. Like, and then when one person posted, a bunch of other people posted, and now I'm looking at a bunch of Skittles on my timeline, it's just going to anger me. Like, right. I'm not, that's not the way I live today. Yeah, fuck that yeah. guy. Yeah, don't, yeah. Don't give him yeah, pub. Yeah, yeah I'm, off, I'm off him. The ball doesn't lie. Him Something's going to happen to him. Mm-hmm. They oh, just yeah, taking their time to really yeah, plot. No, I believe, I believe that. I believe that. Karma, the universe, take care of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's how you know I'm washed, because the other night I tried to go out and enjoy like a night on the town, and I just ended up sitting in Melody looking up Lexington's numerology number. <laughs> That's cool though. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, a, listen, man, just support in a me. different just, setting. Just support this whole proud dad shit. I'm on. Uh, I was just, <laughs> support, just support it. What was I talking about We're before? Talking about the all ball, oh, the diamond ball. Cardi, thing. Rihanna. Do we care about any of this stuff? I hope they don't have beef. I like both of them. But no, remember when I was telling y'all that this is why she shouldn't do that. Mm. Not because it hurts other people, just you because she would anger Rihanna. Because if you know, just fuck that, some money up, yeah, you're gonna fuck it up. You're right. Like the circles that she should be in are not even going to be able to host her because of her behavior. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm I mean, certain that Rihanna wanted her at the Diamond Ball. And again, I don't know shit about none of that shit. I'm just freestyling here. But I'm certain that she wanted her there. Can't have you a liability. You're going to come here. No. <laughs> you can't throw a shoe with people at the Diamond Ball. We said the same thing about 6 9 Luckily, that time has passed, and he is doing very well on the road. But yeah, 6 9 was out here fucking his money up originally. Yeah, he is a 6 9 rebrand in effect, too. Oh, yeah. that for sure. Yeah, Hell is. yeah. There is. He didn't tell us. I like but there it. There is. Hmm. Yeah. Him and Trey Way have been great guys. Stand I, up I stand mean, up guys. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, it, <laughs> they, it really is. Been, like, nah, I've been, yeah. I've been, nah, like, because they knew that, that shit. They, you know, a lot of the offers that they originally had probably was like, nah, man, we can't Slow do down, this. yeah. We, we but it answers the question I was asking back then. If the kid is a stupid superstar and y'all believe he's a superstar, then you don't need that. You don't need it. You can just go. You can right. exist. Speaking of Takashi and Treyway, they signed Fetty Wap. Mm. Okay. They have a history of making music. I like the record they did together with A Boogie. And okay. I thought Fetty was good on it. So I don't know if maybe that's the way to get Fetty, Fetty back in his his shit. A Fetty and uh, 6 9 collab might be interesting. I mean, they have one uh, with A Boogie. Okay. No, I'm talking like about a like, a, like a, a, a few joints together. Yeah, yeah. That I should mean, be interesting. That might... Be the Kickstarter that he needed. The Kickstarter that he needed. Yeah. To get with a, a crew right now that's really moving. To get back in your shit. Yeah. Didn't Takashi already do a song with Fetty that everybody that did well. ignored? No. That that record did really well. Yeah, no, What's the name of it? Ignore it. You're asking me. I'm asking I know anybody really well. in the room to tell me the name of that record. I anybody. I don't think I know. I'll it. pay you. I don't know it. I'll pay you to know Yeah, the I love what niggas said. It did really well. Do you know that it's Sony no more? Neither of them were signed to Sony. <laughs> I know, but you got your, your quick retorts down, Pat. <laughs> no, that record did very well, though. Just because I can't remember the name. I, well, I, I wasn't bumping. Name of any right, but what's really well? We got to get into what that means when niggas say it. Like, what do you <laughs> in comparison to what? Yeah, like, it was on in Starlets. <laughs> like, what, really what well is really, Starlet. really well? Uh, Kiki, yeah, it shit did really well. Really? I mean, I don't know. I'm talking this shit. This shit has 98 million views. All right, see, I'm done with him. I'm done with Roy. And it played yeah, out, I'm and done it was on Roy. Billboard. I never Yo, when a nigga that. start telling me the views to a song, I want to hear the song. I, mean, I don't want to see who saw the song. <laughs> Yo, I saw that song. No, you're asking me. <laughs> you're asking Yo, if it played. It a played. bunch of niggas saw that. Where did it play? They saw it. It was on Billboard, too. And it played out. Oh, maybe that's why they signed him. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I just like the I think he, I think he helps. I argue anything. <laughs> All right. You heard this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I heard, heard I heard this song. This did really well. Wait, why did I hear this song? See, you heard it too. They, they was playing it for sure. Man, turn this off. I'm getting <laughs> round up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to 6 9 man. 
You getting riled up. Yeah, I don't, I don't listen to that nigga. I know what music to stay away from. I know what music is going to get me in a jam. <laughs> I think I think that's good, though, for, for, for Fetty and for uh, 6 9 I, I, think so. I think some good records come from that. Yeah. Thank you, Maul, for such a detailed... <laughs> Maul don't ever say shit. Oh, I do. I think, I think some good records come from that. Listen to the mixes back then. <laughs> oh, that was great. Don't you sound too crystal clear yeah. today? Yeah, that shit was Oh, yo, I got in my friend's car. I got my friend's car. He was playing a CD. <laughs> and right. I heard the difference. I heard CD quality. It yeah. felt great. CD Q sure. back. Yes. CD Q. Finally, not a fucking MP3 for change. Yeah. We definitely it's definitely a quality. Yeah, sure. Oh, down the camera sweaters. Dirty down the camera sweaters, man. Hold up, man. Nah, you killed it, but we don't do that. <laughs> Not after, not after dirty, nah, dirty Donna they Karen. Should, yeah, they put the yeah, they put the dark skin nigga right after the dirty Donna Karen sweaters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't want to. My man, big top. Nah, nah, we're nah. Still, we're still on that last bar. Yeah. Fre <laughs> Fredro <laughs> killed that. That shit. dirty Donna Karen. <laughs> All right, uh, off of Takashi. Uh, congratulations to Fetty Wap and uh, Takashi and Treyway. Look forward to whatever music they're collaborating on. Add Russ into that too. Oh, it's yeah, gonna be a nice little squad. new slaughterhouse. Oh wait, Russ is on Treyway now. I think he was blessed in. Yeah, blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all was stupid. Blessed. <laughs> yeah, blessed. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah, blessed? He was blessed. Yeah, I've just been saying that ever since fucking Jarvis Landry on Hard Knocks. <laughs> bless, bless him. Blessed. Bless. <laughs> like, nigga, take the holiest of shit and make it slang. <laughs> Ooh, blessed him. <laughs> Bless them. That's some 90s shit, though. They about to bless us with some music? No. I wouldn't mind Bless coming back. Yeah, Bless is hard. The bless they is still hard. still here. Bless the parks. No, you new niggas keep taking our old shit and trying to act like it's y'all. Yeah, do or... something. <laughs> True. Pop now. on them young niggas, man. I'm telling you. And get arrested. Yeah. And, and go right to, <laughs> go go right right to, to county, niggas. Yeah, you gonna, you gonna be blessed. Sit up for bless a little bit. Bless that nigga in the precinct. <laughs> blessed. <laughs> All right, uh, congratulations to all of them. All right, I'm sure Kanye. Come on, you want to get into Kanye for a little bit? There's two people I that I can't you, seem niggas. to talk about without y'all saying that I'm biased and I'm not. Like, I don't know how many ties to fucking. I can talk about Kanye and him. I told y'all, Maul. I have to give you some credit. I do. Thank you. And you already know that you don't get credit from me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but it's okay. You have been 100 percent accurate. Throughout this entire Kanye rebrand, I almost feel like he's listening to the podcast and trolling. <laughs> Everything that you say well, he's you know, gonna Maul, do, Maul he be up then... there with them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, come I on, Mo. No, You've been talking to Chloe. I have not been talking to Chloe. <laughs> Damn, Chloe cut you off. Damn. Chloe after, after the toast. Maybe. <laughs> oh, come on, Mo. Chloe, Chloe would you cool, Mo? He didn't pay for his drink. Yeah. 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 Wordy boogie, him and Brandon. Yo, I got the next round. I got the next round. Yeah, so he got traded. Fuck out of here, nigga. Chloe Come back to LA. Leave a Chloe with a bill? That's funny. I ain't really seen nothing of her and Tristan lately either. That's They're parenting. Sure. Yeah. Oh, me too. <clears throat> um, what are we saying, Maul? Come on, remind Kanye, me. We're about Kanye on. West rebrand. and his rebrand. Yeah, yeah Maul, Maul right. said they was they was getting Harold's Chicken. Sure enough, they went and got Harold's Chicken. Mm -hmm. Maul said he was going to make a song with uh, Consequence and Don C and G Herbo. So sure enough, he made a song with Consequence I'm, and Don go C back and to G his old house. Maul said mm -hmm. he was going to go back to his old house. Sure enough, he tried to take the picture that we'd have really thought was cool if J. Cole ain't take us to his old house already. Yeah. Like, the old house <laughs> J trick is J. over, Cole fam. Kind of body the yeah, old you house can't swag. show us your old, old house old no man. more. You can't, yeah. You're yeah. to a museum. Don't, yeah. don't even tell me your address ever. Yeah, yeah. It's even only, if you're telling me to go there. Only uh, the Jackson 5 and J. Cole. That's, That's it. Those are the only two old houses mm -hmm. that, that we care about. Yeah. And I knew that too, yo. When J. Cole did that shit, I said, oh, fuck. 
<laughs> Damn. Now we Damn, you, you I can't, you never, to take it back I can't never take him to Jersey City now. <laughs> nah, yeah, he, nah. he, he ended it. <laughs> yeah, it's over. So Kanye tried to make his house look all portraity like it was in Wyoming. Or no, it, no, no, no. Took it with a Polaroid. Side, took it with yeah. a Polaroid. Nah, he put mode. it in portrait mode. Yeah. <laughs> no, Kanye. No, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what? The rebrand is in full effect. I put a new filter on what his is, crib. What is he about to do in his old house again? He's, gonna make he's music. coming back to Chicago and he's never leaving again. He tried to pop up at the open mic shit with Chance. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's doing, Just say, yo, what up? I'm going to the he's, studio. He's doing the good ass job now. It See, worked, listen, which man. was his original solo project. Right. Chance bodied that. Sorry. Chance give me, Give me your solo album. Chance will never do it, <laughs> but he got to get away from Kanye. I mean, oh, no, he will never get away. From if there's him. one duo of the Kanye duos that would probably make sense, Chance. it's Chance and Kanye. Because be Kanye wouldn't fuck Chance because he actually he likes Chance. Right. Like it's the same way. Like he likes Pusha. Right. He don't fuck people he likes. Plus, Chance, his machine is not going to let him. And we, he can album. stand I mean, on his own. We're just going to get a West. good gospel rap album from those two. It's it's sounds like choirs. Ultra Light Beam. A lot of I'm choirs. Cool. It's going to be a lot of choirs. You know, a lot of soul sample shit, which I'm fine with. I'm I'm cool with all that. I mean, we having fun with it. I mean, we knew this was gonna happen. The rebrand, I'm all for it as long as it's, if Kanye's really gonna stick to it and really help the city of Chicago, really help the, the communities, the kids out there that need it. Because we all know everything that's going on in Chicago. But if this is just another one of his, you know, commercials, just to sell to something. Sell us let, yeah, let me like, let me I'm, say I'm cool on that. I I have every intention. Let me let me let me PSA here. I have every intention on reversing my stance on Mr. Kanye West when I feel like it needs to be reversed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Well, yeah, to all the people that think we're biased and hate yeah, on Kanye all the time, do you think we don't want him to make good music? Like, yeah. <laughs> right. I want a great Kanye album. Ye just wasn't it. Yeah. Oh, no. See, for me, I don't care. I don't care about oh, the I music. Do. I don't care about the music. So if I, if I never person, get yeah. any more good Kanye music, then I owe him still. Yeah. That's how much great music he's already given. Yeah. That's true. Uh, well, I think he's still extremely talented, and there is a great album left I, okay, in his discography. Okay, we're saying the same thing differently. I don't think this version of Kanye is anywhere near the best version of Kanye. No. So I don't think he produces anywhere near the best version of his music in this form. Mm -hmm. I guess that's which, I guess that's what I'd be trying to say about Kanye discography, and it I'm, comes out wrong. Yeah, I, I didn't go in thinking Ye was going to be graduation. But I wanted it to be a bit higher than that. Like, the Pablo shit is significantly better than Ye to me. And oh, that yeah. wasn't yeah. too long away from each other. So that's why I was so disappointed. I was only comparing Kanye to Kanye. If another artist put out Ye, I would have been like, oh, that's a cool album. That's, that's awful for Kanye West. For but what I, you've put out. I think a lot of this shit comes from, like we was talking on the last uh, episode, is forcing the creativity. I think it got to a point where Kanye started forcing creativity because he's been putting so much creative energy in other places so the music took a hit you know what i mean so now i think you know him going home and getting back in touch with his roots he, and, and, and different energy that's there in the city and and, and tapping into younger artists and hard, stuff like that hard for me to gauge it or really take it at face value it is i need i need i need a streak of selfless acts yeah from kanye that's yeah. how much damage i feel like He's done. He has done. Yeah, yeah, for so, sure. So now I'm all for, you know, black people, we love Kanye. Oh, yeah, for sure. We all love Kanye. And we want to love him, but, you know, his his acts in the, in the, in the past yeah, this is like, have kind of left a bad taste with us. So it's like now, look, we can have jokes with us. Like, yeah, we knew all this was coming. And I'm all for it if it's real. If it's coming from a real and honest perspective and he's really like, yo, listen, I'm back home. You know, I kind of got away from... My, my roots and what I loved and I need this energy and I know I fucked up and you know if it's if it's real cool but if he goes off this course again and I'm only passionate about in my disdain uh, for Kanye I guess because I really believed him mm -hmm. yeah like I'm not married to other artists and their their lies or their tricks or their shenanigans mm -hmm. that way. Like I, I make fun of Logic all the time with the, I'm white, I'm white, I'm black, I'm black. You know, I don't really give a fuck with you. Could say <laughs> nigger all day in your kitchen, nigger. Uh, but, <laughs> but Kanye is like, like New Slaves wasn't a song for me. Like it was, it was a message. It was a moment. It was a, it was a his whole fucking career. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know. Every album so that's, you can so, find so something that's, that's the polar opposite of what he is right now. So mm -hmm. I just need a, a few selfless acts from him where he doesn't gain at all. 
Because mm-hmm. then it, it'll make it easier for me to believe. And I know who the fuck am I? So I'm, I'm nobody, but clearly I'm somebody. I'm a consumer. No, you're consumers. I'm a consumer, yeah, yeah, and the yeah, consumers yeah. have important. all the fucking power. That's, that's, the, that's right. why these people are right. maneuvering this way right. because of the consumer. Right. Um, well, I saw Rhyme Fest in one of the videos when he was at his crib. Which again, I don't know Rhyme Fest, but his moral compass seems to be a bit higher than a lot of people that have been in Kanye's circle. Shout out to Rhyme Fest. So the fact that he can forgive and that makes me think maybe Kanye is in a better space and he is really being pure and honest with what he's trying to do in Chicago. I hope so. I, I, I truly hope so. I hope so too. You can't, this, make, you can't hop on no chance album and, and not be pure. <laughs> like, yeah. Honestly, like if your soul is not all the way good, you can't get with chance. <laughs> yeah, but this might, this might really be Kanye's last like Hurrah. shot at, at having the community back him. Honestly. Like well, this he, might be it. Like if he goes away from this, it's like, all right, you know what? If you can't get the community to back you standing next to Chance, then you ain't got a chance, my nigga. No, but I'm saying he got it. He has it now. Like, I'm seeing a lot of people that weren't really... Because we were on that train. Like, man, we ain't fucking with Kanye. I'm still on that train. No, I am too. But I, it's I, like... I ain't off. It's like we need to just keep watching him. And like you said, and you need some self But I acts. do recognize the effort. Let yeah, me, the let change. Me say I'm that. not... Exactly. I, and I appreciate it. I yeah. recognize the effort... No matter where it stems from, clearly he recognized something was wrong, right. whether that be professionally or internally. Right. So you can see he's attempting to do some things differently. Yeah, no, we can't and, be mad at that. Yeah, yeah, not at all. Not at all. Um, but well, good the, ass. The title for the solo, because there's two. It's Good Ass Job with Chance, and then I think he put a date for. for Yandi. Yandi. So that also kind of scares me a little bit, too. You're going out to do all these good deeds, and now you're calling yourself Yandi. <laughs> Is that what he's called himself? No, he called the, the album, album Yandi. He's never uh, called himself Yandi. Okay. Called himself Jesus. Okay, so I thought this was like the next because it's got the well, same little artwork. Nah, it's different. Gandhi, it's a mini Yandi. disc. Y'all never oh. had the mini disc? I didn't. <laughs> so, I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> He's the new Gandhi, basically. He's calling himself. Thanks, yeah. Maul. Uh, that's what it is? Thank, yeah. Thanks for letting us know where he was he going. Eating Harold's chicken, though. Gandhi wasn't eating Harold's. But that's the other thing that's a little <laughs> well, worrisome. In his defense, there was no Harold's out there at the time. That's true. I think Gandhi might have got like a two piece. Not happening. No. Okay. <laughs> no. He's working on a lot fast still, it seems. Yeah, that the throne thing is still... Fast food. So there's the throne, good-ass job, Yandi. And again, I may be bugging y'all. I see you wrong. A lot of niggas is moving like they're in debt to me. That just don't make sense. It does not make sense for someone of that magnitude to be teasing three albums at once. Okay. So I don't, really I don't, albums, okay. I don't I think, look at it as debt. I look at kill, it as just, they're just working. It's just not to kill M, but working. Kamikaze, I think, was a, wait, a especially, quick cover-up for the old album. But wait, especially think, after the same, the, thing. the same gentleman right. just did the same move and it was unsuccessful. I don't think that's that that M. man is turning around and do the same thing again. Who? Kanye. Yeah, with the, he with just the put songs. five albums out in a... Month, oh, a yeah. month. No, I, think, five. I think Rory hit the nail on the head. Yeah, though. I think he's trying he's to, trying to what, back. what Eminem did with the what was it? What was the name of the last album? Who knows? Kamikaze. Nah, the one before that. Who knows? Revival. Revival. I don't so know none of that shit. He got killed for revival, and then he came out with Kamikaze pretty quickly to clear up whatever the fuck he did over there. So I think Kanye's doing the same thing with Ye. I think he knows now that Ye was not it, and a lot of those albums weren't it. So now he's got to come back with a whole new approach. Good ass job with Chance. This is not a Chance album, right? This is like know. a collaborative album. Yeah, I think it's collaborative. Yeah. Are people really, really excited about this collaboration? I think, I would say, yeah. I probably. think people would just be excited about anything when they just hear Kanye. I mean, no, I mean, and Chance. And Chance. I was and say, Chance I, as well. As a Chance fan, I'm excited I to think, hear new Chance music. Yeah, that's the only, that's why I'm mad, Parks. He fucking has suckered me back in. <laughs> Through chance. Right. Mm. I was able to avoid every all other shit, even though I, I bumped that Tiana album a lot. But that didn't make me say, all right, Kanye. Mm. And here he goes sneaking in with damn chance. Strong move. Well, they mentioned it on Ultra Light Beams <laughs> in a bar. Chance said it. We're going to do a good ass job with Chance 3. But I know he was playing off what should have been the Kanye album after graduation. So our chance has been holding on to this good ass job thing for some time rank your order rank you guys order of anticipation on these three albums and where you think they'll land personally sonically. or amongst everyone period no you I'm talking to you I, uh, care about I have more anticipation for the solo one than the chance one really which Yandi because Ye was such a letdown to me and his discography as a solo artist you could put so you have pretty uh, fucking I got, high I got a higher so you, so you have Yandi uh, good ass job and then Throne I don't even 
Throne. Throne, I'm not even I, I don't even about. think Throne's We don't even out, know so. what the fuck that is. Matters, yeah. that matters none. He announced yeah, it. Is, I just want to hear where, where people's head yeah, space I'm is. Going, I'm, I'm, put, I'm going Yandy and then Ch- to Chance album. I'd put Yandy at the bottom, personally. Same. Pause. I don't even know what Throne is going to be about. Oh, yeah. I'm not, not, not invested in Throne at all. I didn't love Pablo like that, although it grew on me. But And I didn't like Ye. And Yeezus I liked, but it wasn't, you know, it was a little abstract. I'm I'm curious I'm with putting Yandy under Jesus the ain't making you rush to Yandy. <laughs> we don't even know who's do- on that album. We Nigga, don't even know who that's with. If it was a ch- if it was me staring at a chair, that might be better than listening to Yeezus again. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Yeah, but I, if I want to hear EDM, guess what, nigga? I'll go to the Mondrian well, no, on like, a Saturday so first night. Of all, hold on, like Kanye, Kanye has. All, every, that's why also Ye sucked. Every Kanye album has sounded differently. So I don't think Yandy's going to sound like Yeezus just because the album covers are similar. I don't know how it's going to sound because I feel like but he's fast fooding the music. But that's why I'm anticipating it because I'm curious to see if Kanye's going to make some, a that, new though. sound again. He's fast fooding yeah. the music. I'm I mean, I don't know that. why people get angry at me because I recognize that. No, no, no. I'm agreeing with that. 100%. Kanye is someone that you. <laughs> used to take like two years to finish a song. That's what I'm he cha- saying. He changed the sound of every single album. Artists don't do that shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's nuts. He changed the sound changed of all the sound. Like I, was there, I, was, I was at the studio when they did uh, Flashing Lights and the version that came out was 100,000% a different song. Same vocals. I mean, everyone that, everyone that you talk to that collaborates with Kanye says they have to redo things a thousand times. Yeah. T-Pain said he redid the Good Life hook for a week. Right. Sitting in the studio. Nope, that ain't it. That right. ain't it. Even Chris Rock said he had him in the booth for four hours. Right. <laughs> Nikki said that. Yeah. Like, yeah, a few Pusha people said, said it. Pusha away. said it. And Pusha I don't said think, about Tiana, too. And I don't think anyone felt that way from that whole summer of albums. Nah, he was just throwing it out there. What if Kanye just fucked the game up and came back with like some college dropout type of pro black, this is what I'm on now type shit? I'm here for it. I hope so. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be a little confused. <laughs> But I will be one thousand percent confused. Like, what the fuck is happening right now? Because I'm definitely not thinking it's gonna be that. My mind is nowhere near that. Well, the the, the little sample video clips he's been putting out. He was trying to flip a Mike, uh, Michael Jackson soul sample or some Jackson Five shit. Definitely mm-hmm. sounds like the GLC era. And he keeps posting pictures of Chance standing in doorways. <laughs> <laughs> and I fall for it every time. Like, damn. <laughs> and, <laughs> Wonder and what know, Chance is thinking in that doorway. No, and you know Chance be refreshing his timeline like, Yo, it's so, looking that he's still at the door. <laughs> Yo, this new this era of like just just like the way people just bait you in is so trash, my nigga. Like a nigga standing in the doorway. Nah, I'm in. Niggas is like, oh, oh that yeah. shit gonna oh, sound fire. Oh, yes, he's just standing in nah, a doorway. But look at the doorway. I mean, How's the doorway the look? The fuck out the doorway's man. looking a little antique, oh my a little vintagey, a <laughs> little gothic. Yeah, word, a little warehousey. I seen him with Herbo too. I was like, okay, he all the way. Yeah, that Chicago one had me like, is all come the way on, back, come on, effect. come on. Yeah, but it makes me ask the question I ask all the time. When you're a young act trying to make your way and you're at that crossroads and Kanye step well, in the studio and say, all right, I'm here now. What he are you did, doing? He did all right with the drill music on Yeezus with the Chief Keef and like Young Chop shit. It still sounded like Kanye, but still drillish. Mm. No, let me like, tell you why I, I'm not. do well with the drill artists in let, Chicago. No, that's why I don't know how to feel, Rory. Mm. Kanye can do well with all of them. Yeah. yeah. And he's always, his whole career, worked with all of them. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's only now, so really not much has changed, but his stance and his perspective and his opinions, which change minds mm. on everything. Yeah. That's what I feel like. Like, he, he working with niggas like he always work with niggas. Yeah, it's just this, this I'm I'm looking at him like ill. Like everything you do is nasty. Yeah, everything to yeah everything coming from him. We gonna you know everybody's gonna look at kind of with a side eye. Like yeah, but we ain't really fucking with you like that right now. But if it's you know listen good and music, no wait no good. fuck. Remember I asked y'all a while back too. I said yo, if he's dead ass about running for president, uh, the presidency, mm-hmm. which I'm to assume he is because he keeps screaming out years. <laughs> <laughs> now it's uh, 2024. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Naming years that you can't even run and shit. <laughs> Twenty twenty two and a half. <laughs> yeah, word. Yay, we here in Yandy, nigga. <laughs> but I'm saying, I was, I was asking. I said, hey, if he really plans on running, ain't he gonna need to vote on like all us? Yes. Not just the white people, for sure. And we said yes. So I don't really know what I'm seeing. You know what I mean? He's saying 2024. He's doing a bunch of black shit. He's got music coming, but he was just on the side of the bigot 
uh, for finance purposes, I'm assuming to find a tax break somewhere. I don't know. I wasn't allowed in the room. <laughs> <laughs> None of but what else, do, what else do what else do? Check your email more. It might have been there. I wouldn't go. I know, Joe. I'm I joking. wouldn't go. No, nope. sorry. I'll be home. Um. <laughs> all right. Who else is beefing? It's mad beef. Oh, did I, did I did I did I already? <laughs> Yo, my whole childhood's a lie. What happened? <laughs> no, honestly. Well, I, I might, I might have happened? to take a whole another break. Oh, listen, what happened? No, this topic I didn't know how we was going to approach it. Uh, JD and Bow Wow. <laughs> Your childhood. Everything. Wait, was like none of it's real, we grew up bro. together. Two. <laughs> none of it's real. My whole life was a lie. Then <laughs> I don't know what to believe. Nope. I just said that. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> yeah, man. Come on, Maul. Give it to us. Break the story, man. I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to express it. I don't know how to express it, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Well, what's what's the story? Jermaine Dupree was on the Breakfast Club and he say he don't, he ain't never fuck with Bow Wow. Bow Wow always been a little weird ass nigga and he can't explain none of the shit he's doing and it's cool now because they don't really kick it like that so he can't speak for his mental space now. But I mean, it is what it is. All right. Wait. So, yo, ending that off with it is what it is. <laughs> fucking insane. What is it? But it, it that it, it is. is. It is. It is. That's hey, Tragedy Gaddafi told me it is what it is to be. <laughs> it is. He warned yeah, us about the president. That shit was too. prolific when I was sixteen too. It, it is what but it the, is to the be. The only reason why that JD JD <laughs> Bow Wow shit bugs me out is they've because been beefing on Instagram since Instagram existed. How come I didn't know that? Week one. I yeah, I, didn't I know don't that. know anything about that. They have been in each other's comments at literally every day. They was just in Whip together a few years I know, ago. And then when I go was right back to Whip. <laughs> Whip. <laughs> yeah, we saw how Whip ended. Yeah, but I mean, last time I was in Whip, guess they who was, was in there? Yeah. Hey, for the out of towners, uh, that's a club uh, that no longer exists in New York City. Boy, it was great. That's great where times, Chris Brown times. and Drake beefed. If you need a point of reference, yeah, on great that clubs. Great times. No, it was not in Whip. No, that was Greenhouse. That was no, Greenhouse. Man. It was Whip no, it was downstairs. Whip. Yeah, it was Whip. It was Whip. It was definitely Whip. Yeah, Whip, Whip, Whip is Whip. Whip is the same. Whip is it's the same shit, okay. but one's upstairs, yeah. one's downstairs. Whip is where you fight. Does that still exist? Yeah. No. Does that just feel like a fight? You don't fight in Greenhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Greenhouse is too nice. It's kind of too yeah. compact to fight. Mm -hmm. Way too small. But that's the same Whip club. got mad room to fight. <laughs> I'm so happy that Drake and Chris Brown are friends again. <laughs> are they? They followed each other. That's friend. That's friendship today. Yeah, that is. <laughs> you are. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go. Wait till they drop deuces two on us. Oh, and Tiger's heating up again, too. <laughs> I, no, Tiger is really, really heating up, though. Listen, bro. Listen. Yo, so I'm telling no, you. Nobody's young, young trying money, to. Seriously. Young Money and MMG. Tiger's here, man. <laughs> Tiger's here. Yeah, I know yeah. that black Twitter don't want to acknowledge it. Now they got to accept it. And I keep it. saying that. They got to accept it. But I was, I was just somewhere. I was just somewhere like a Dunkin' Donuts or something in... Uh, that shit, the Tiger song. Do, do, do. I'm that like, well, why am I nodding this hard <laughs> in Dunkin' Donuts? Waiting for a latte. I said, holy shit, this nigga's in Dunkin' Donuts making me nod. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do, do, do. That song is hard. Do, do, do. I'm almost mad that it's Tiger, right? <laughs> I'm almost do, mad. Do, do, do. <laughs> do, do, do. Do, do, do. You got points on this record? Fair. That's important because y'all tell me one thing Tiger said in that song. Tell me one thing. I don't know. That's the no, fucking point. It don't do, do, do. I don't know any do, do, do. I can't recite one bar. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's one of them beats that Park from the Justice League niggas would be there like, yo, man, simple ass beats is trash. What's happening to hip hop? <laughs> For sure. What's happening to hip hop? <laughs> For sure. And <laughs> Meanwhile, this shit is number one. <laughs> do, do, do. Donuts. Niggas in the rehab pool in Vegas getting busy. Getting crazy. <laughs> shit, nasty. Y'all <laughs> yeah, nasty. They nasty out there. Um, yeah, shout out to Tiger, man. Nah, he's doing it. I hope Drake and Chris call him. Listen, man. Like, invite him in. Invite him on a song. Uh, Meek and Wale back together. <laughs> I yeah. told y'all I cried a little bit inside when Meek supported that Wale project, uh, right? I thought it was project, great. Right? Yo, look at MMG right now. I, I tweeted Ross's album 2017 could have been wrapped up. I follow you. I saw it, my nigga. I know, I know, but <laughs> not all the listeners. I follow you. I saw it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Ross could have had album of the year uh, 2017 debatable. Meek is in a super focused state that we all see. He also mm -hmm. put out a great EP. Mm -hmm. And Wale has not missed once between EPs and Lucy's this year. Talk so about it. I don't it. see why a self made volume four can't happen in January. Talk about it, King. Talk about oh, they, they drop uh, the ball if that's self made for them. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's get a moment of silence for old Lou. Oh, and, and what? Made back old. 
I'm t- maybe I go better put something out. You should. Yeah, you gotta, he got to hurry up. I, I'm searching his name in iTunes. And get pill back. Why is the shirt off working for Childish and not Omarion? Because he ain't doing the weird nigga dances. He's doing that same <laughs> little BT award strut yeah, out doing there. Too much, you got served. And he lost his girl and his girl's looking, his baby mom's looking good after they. And it, so you can't respect that. <laughs> can't respect no nigga where your baby mom's looking good after the breakup. Yeah. I'm joking, by the way, Amari. You know I love you. <laughs> A cheating Wale Everybody's true love Is their kid Shut up <laughs> Wale said They moving the goalposts For certain niggas Hold up now That intro Not today But one day I want to have A Wale intro conversation See Wale say real and Where my phone I'm going to call Wale Where my phone I'm, I'm, sick, I'm sick of Wale Honestly, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Why are you sick of him Because Wale say real Important shit, right? Mm. But he don't highlight it. He don't drop the beat. He don't. Or, yeah, he or, don't yeah, highlight. Yeah, yeah. Then he don't make it a trick. He don't make it a thing. He don't make it a conversation to be had. He just says it in the midst of a ten thousand other words. Yeah, that are all tied together too yeah, at the same time. Yeah, he's scheming and doing wordplay still. But you, he's you, out rapping everybody. But you said something prolific that if we just gaze at for a second, Take a moment, we should talk about it. Yeah. And and that's been a consistent point with him for a few years. They moved the goalposts for certain niggas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm calling. Because I'm thinking. Oh, shit. Did he just text me? Oh, shit. Look at God. If you look at Wiley's oh, discography. Hey, Nikki, everybody, what the hell? I'm oh, calling all these niggas. Pick man. up what all the, the names, bro. All the let ones me, you Let just me drive. pick them up, man. <laughs> Put them in your bag. Uh, all right. And then zip up your bag. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever take them names out again. <laughs> Thank you. Let me call Wale, man. Hold up. Who the fuck is this? Texting you at eleven twenty six. Yeah, that Life After Death album. I went. <laughs> that album is hard, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the update. <laughs> yeah, where, you want to go on the album cover? <laughs> Am I on a voicemail? Hey, Wale. What's up, man? Uh, first of all, take your Ralph Trez Van voice off. We live on the Joe Button Podcast. How are you? Say hello to Parks, Rory, and Maul. You this good? This is my real speaking voice. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I don't need a poem right now. Listen, I have a question. The line on track one, they moved uh-huh. the goal post for certain niggas, right? Uh-huh. I'm on my yeah. podcast talking about that line, and I'm talking about how stupid you are because you never highlight the prolific shit you say. Like, that's a conversation starter. Okay. Why are you so shoved? I don't, I don't, like, how do I highlight it? Well, that's the thing. I, I don't. I well, you don't hide like, it. Do I, do I, you shouldn't hide do it. I, do, I, do, I, do I tattoo it on my forehead? And what? See, you being funny, but the line I'm was not. the line was hard in the song, and we love it. Thank you. Now that the com- that funny. conversation has to be had, Wale, and you have to figure out a way for us to have it. Because so it's I, true. I mean, I, when you saying well, true shit, I you got to stand was, by that shit. I was simply talking about like you know um, Sebastian Janikowski and like uh, yo and all right, <laughs> I'm yeah. about that, so. all right. you know what see I, I, however people choose to interpret it is, is yeah the way it is, yeah all right. it is. well can but, I Wale, say that nigga name man I'm just telling you how I interpret it bro <laughs> I mean I don't I'm, I'm not just, like I don't I, said, man, I don't think you're talking I'm about Dan man, Bailey <laughs> I'm a man of I'm a man of many um, similes metaphors. And onomatopoeias, man. I just like to just write words down that you know that that relate to other people. So in that moment, I was really talking about some of the you know the great kickers, Morton Anderson, and some uh, of the so great forth. kickers. Jason Yo, Ingram. all right, I don't give a fuck about all. You know, you know why you phony? Let me tell you why you phony, Wally. Because we mm. was you were supposed to come here and we were supposed to talk, right? We were supposed to kick it. You right on the podcast. And, and, and I just left Warner Brothers, and I, I literally just left. And they said, y'all, 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 y'all pushed it back a week. So I don't know. So, <laughs> we pushed it back. I just left Warner. Warner bro. Bro. Yeah, this nigga, man. I just see, left see, the brothers. Now, the funny thing is, the funny thing is, I'll just, I'll just screenshot and 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 show you because I'm going to New York tomorrow. Wale, they, 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 you they said you. They said you. They said y'all pushed it back. Hey, you never have to hear from a third party for me. Let me tell you about what happened. You were supposed to come on a Thursday. That would have been for our Saturday podcast. But our real podcast to do all the numbers is on a Wednesday, and I would have never done you like that because I love you. So I waited, and then you were gone. And then I'm like, damn, Wale don't fuck with us. And then I see you. You out with Issa Rae and all of them. So I'm like, oh. Mm. 
Oh, oh well, I mean, Man, I, no, I mean, no, no, no. Well, I saw you with Issa Rae. It's a long walk from LA to New York, so you know what I'm saying. I was, I couldn't just go there and then come come at you. Mm. So I gotta get on this thing that they call a plane, and I'm going to New York. So I'm in New York tomorrow. I'm not. I know, but you always come up here and do your little wrestling shit. I had to go meet with the label because I'm trying to be a good artist this time. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get in trouble no more. Like, that's true. You know, with that last situation. Nah, trouble sounds. Don't don't get in no trouble. I kind of just, I want to be a team player, man. It's a lot of flying. I'm tired of shit, but yeah. (laughs) How long, how long are you going to be in New York? Can can you, can you get with us at all? I will be in New York for uh, tomorrow and the day after. Or just, or just just tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow and not just tomorrow. Y'all done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's All right. It's, my it, birthday. Don't my worry birthday about it. We Friday. We so, partying at? I don't know. I might not do nothing, man. Nigga, fuck that shit. I'm. I'm gonna get some money somewhere. Mm. Yo, you're not close. You know, to, you're not. You know, you, what you saying? That birthday tour, get all, get, get all them bags in all them cities. It's your birthday every day for like a, a month. And nah, I always thought it was corny when niggas did that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing, ain't nothing corny about six figures, my brother. Hey, talk, hold up, man. Look at the gun shot. Wale, all right, listen. No. Last question because I, I don't, I wasn't supposed to interview you, but listen. You're teasing retirement online. Yeah. Yep. Just know I will not let you retire. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that the, I'm sure there's a lot of people that said the same thing to you. That's true. I think they're going to miss you a lot more. I was just, honestly, before I called you, and that's why I called you, and I was, saying, I was just telling Rory and Maul, in the event that Wale retires, niggas will miss him more than they're letting on right now. Maybe I want to smell the roses. That's all. Maybe oh, I got to smell right. the roses. This nigga's ending with a poem. Who knows? I, 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 <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I, just, who knows? I just know that, I just know that it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't... Yo, let's, be, let's keep it a buck. It ain't fun, bro, Like to know that you're doing... Saying, doing, no and, shit, and it and it gets overlooked. That shit ain't fun, my nigga. Like, it ain't fun to do an album with arguably the most successful comedian in the world, and like, not, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no flaws and shit, but you know, but there's the, the powers that yeah. be, the powers that be, and I know they'll highlight this and shit, like the Metacritic and all that. I just learned how that shit works, and that shit like depressed me for like two days. Like, it's just a couple people's opinions that speak to the world and shit like that. That shit is not. I ain't never going to be no media darling, man. I'm never going to be that. Hey, but don't say that. Gotta, I said the same thing back in the day, man. They niggas got to separate, but niggas got to separate. Niggas got to, I'm not, I'm not killing nobody. I'm not, I'm not doing hate speech. So it's just like, you don't like the way I talk, my accent or, you, or my confidence or like how I praise our culture or how I view our culture or I'm not one of these, you know, clones and stuff. If you, th- you know, I think that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? And, and if I, if I behave a certain way, they, they, you know, they, they come faster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think a lot of people, a lot of uh, redacted likes caricatures of, of us. You know what I'm saying? They like mm. caricatures of of us. Like the most turned up version, the Halloween version of, of us. Oh, you're you know talking too much real shit right now. They might try they, to they hurt. Like they like the might... Halloween version of, of, of niggas. Let's just keep it a buck. They the like the Halloween, Halloween version of niggas. Version. And I ain't, never, I ain't never been a nigga that you could be for Halloween. While, you know while they might be more powerful retired. Like me, huh? That's what I'm saying. You know, and you know, what what you started and and you being a, a truth teller and somebody who don't budge. A lot of people are trying to sway you know, sway me to do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that's for me. Obviously, I think I'm a little bit too sensitive to do anything like that. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I definitely, I definitely, there's other things that I can do where I feel like I'd be a little bit more appreciated. You know, you mm. could you could be fake. And say, oh no! Why do you care? People appreciate you. Why do you care? The the, the the most the most ridiculous thing anybody says is why in this industry, why do you care what people think? Pause. Let me tell you why. Because that's how we generate revenue, my team, mm-hmm. my boy, mm-hmm. my guy. That's how we generate. If nigga, if everybody hates you, you broke. So no yes, my nigga, I do care. I do care what everybody thinks, nigga, because I don't work at fucking Subway. <laughs> you feel me? Like I don't work there. So I don't, you know, them niggas don't give a fuck what you think about this Caesar salad, nigga. They don't give a fuck. They just make a Caesar, they make a Caesar salad all day, nigga. They don't give a fuck. They spit in your Caesar salad. <laughs> Here, nigga, take they gonna this make, shit. They're going to make their money regardless. The same thing regardless. My shit fluctuates upon being liked, being being on, uh, 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 be, getting posted and shared in this generation. 
and uh, niggas will niggas might refuse to post a picture from of, from Black Bonnie video, but if it was a certain redacted redacted in there. It, it would be posted. Yo, don't uh, you got four redactors in. Yeah, you got a lot of redactors, man. You got to relax I'm now. Careful. I'm, I'm careful now, man. It's, I've been I've been throwing it in the bus a little bit too much, so I'm just, you know, I just... I got to start that whole redactor. I got to get on that redacted wave. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, nah, nah. You a me, you media man now, so you don't... You know what I'm saying? Wale. You're super media man. You got... Do, all right, do you have... Because great great EPs, you EPing us to death. Are you leading right. us to something... Well, you got to because you was on a warning, nigga. Obviously, but I know, but you can't take a long time, is what I'm saying. Um. Well, I mean, you know, I, I had to, you know, I had to do the business. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to do the business, and then I also realized that times change every day. Like, be, be careful. So, I, I try to fix so you the business. Modify, you got to modify your album. I don't. I don't think the great, the great artists of our generation. I don't think we we have the luxury of spending six, seven months working on one project because. Yeah. Things happen so fast, and things are are no longer relevant. You know what I'm saying? So you got to change. Like you, I think to make a great album that's culturally relevant and timely, right? You 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 need like like a month or less as far as recording goes, and get that get all, get it done, get it all done, the lyrics all done. So when it drops, it's relevant. But if you taking six seven months, wait, you're gonna be changing wait, verses. God, did, did you wait? A month? See, that's exactly. I'm glad I don't rap no more, man. I'm, I'm telling <laughs> y'all. We was just talking about how Kanye is. It seemed like he's in this fast food shit because he's announcing album after album after album. Fucking uh, good ass job with Throne with this other shit. Listening to you, everybody's on fast food. Everybody got to go in a month and turn but, uh, around a project. I mean, I don't know. It's the difference between fast and, and, and fast and, and and comfortable and healthy and fast and microwave. Got you it. know what I'm saying. You know, uh, and I ain't gonna, you know, whatever. People of like course. what they like and they do what they do, whatever. Like, me personally, I, I was a big, big, big fan of Kanye. Like, graduation early, registration, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think that's the type of music that he's gonna give us um, if he's trying to do it super fast. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, or what he's what he's aiming for. I don't think that's the, I don't think that's what he's aiming for. I, mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think that's what he's aiming for. So, right. well, we'll I mean, I know me personally, I know what sounds I want. Yo, don't try to keep lyrics. talking to us here so that you ain't got to hit us when you get here. I was going like, yeah, to say, I have bad questions. Yeah, come on, Wale. Fuck out of here. here. He I don't want to do the phone conversation no, shit. So when I get to New York, I'm going to call you when I, I'm gonna call you when I touch down tomorrow. Thank I'm going to call I'm gonna just call you. Thank you. Put it together. Fuck the label shit. Yeah, thank you. Uh -huh. that, that, you know I mean, yes. I, mean I just, I listen, bro. I don't want no smoke with the label, bro. I'll take smoke with any rapper before I take smoke with the label again because I, I see what they do with niggas rollouts these days. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hit me tomorrow, man. All right, y'all. One. Oh, there you have it. <laughs> nah, we need to do the real episode with him. That's a conversation that we never have either. Which like, one is that? The artists that are feeling underappreciated. Like, we always talk from the consumer perspective. We you never really artists. get into the artists that are feeling like you're putting out blood, sweat, and tears and receiving pennies upon return. Right. Well, I mean, I get his point of view. Of, of course, this is just my opinion on his music, but what else does he have to do? His discography, if you look at, is much better than the average rappers. He hasn't really missed it all. It's true. He's it's, putting out radio singles that do really well. But it's, 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 it's kind of it's He kinda raps like really said. well. It's, he makes melodies really well. Like, what more do I got to do? He doesn't new era really We're well. not in the era where you can rap well. Yeah, bro. he doesn't new era well. That's what it is. Well, he's, he's, first he's, of all, if you look at the top tier rappers right now making the most money and the most sales, they are top tier rappers. Show them to me. Show them to me. And J. Let's Cole, have a talk. Kendrick Lamar, Drake. TDE, Jew. <laughs> All right, man. And, and and who who do you say Kendrick Drake and Rock Nation Jay Z? Who backs you? We get back to that question. Who of back, course. Who backs course. Wale? But Wale was Rock Nation at one point, wasn't he? And now he's not. Who backs Wale? Well, uh, listen. I, and that is the difference the between your favorite act and Wale. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, that's why he, he tried to, to do it with the MMG <clears throat> thing and have that support around him the way Kendrick does with TDE. But let me explain that to fans. But let me everyone. let me explain that to fans too. Bad luck, I guess. Uh, let's say. But I mean, Meek is MMGs. What is that? Meek is Atlantic. Meek is the second biggest artist on Atlantic Records. Mm -hmm. MMG is an afterthought. MMG is how. He is. 
Cardi, on, Ed Sheeran. I'm, yeah. Yo, you always give me Ed Sheeran when I'm talking one of the biggest selling people I'm talking ever. about urban music. I'm talking about the hip hop in Atlantic. Meek is number two after Cardi. I get that from them, from Atlantic. There's nothing to debate. They view him that way, is what You're I'm saying. You're a self-employee. Huh? Nothing. No, I'm not an employee. Yo, Roy leaves Sony and, and want to create these narratives. And I don't like how you're trying to create you trying to steal my create narratives bag. <laughs> create like, narratives. Like, so much bag. I'm no, like, I'm the wait, nigga so that does that. The straight up lion. Yes, yes. yes. That bag. You gotta get your own way. I've been saying this before when you call in Kaiser on the podcast. You gotta get your own way, Roy. You get can't your. create narratives. <laughs> your lie bag. Um Yeah, so back to that. Who backs you? Meek is the second biggest act on Atlantic. Your subsidiary label is important. Uh, important when you're being introduced to us. So, yeah, they scream MMG when we have no idea who the fuck they are and when we don't know them at all. <laughs> so now that we know them, you ain't heard them niggas say MMG in a long time. It's just the tags is the dopest tag in no, the world. All right, all right, so everything you're saying, I agree with, and that's not exactly what I was saying. I was speaking more from the artist standpoint. Like, what more do I have to do musically? You can't be a rapidy rapper and not be backed and make it. That whole Shine album yeah, was not rapidy rap at all. It's party music. They, was, they dropped the ball with what the G-Eazy record, the Shine album with Wally. That that G Easy record, that little runway shit. All of my that points. Record, that was a that was a hit. You that can't make hits and not be backed. Then That's they, a fact. Then they're no, not that, hits. No, no, no. That's true. All right, Joe, I'm, I'm agreeing with you 100. percent Just saying now, from I, an artist's Everything you say, I have to explain it for fans. <laughs> okay. Because we speak from a different place. Right. So we often sound like we're speaking from a different place. Mm. But no, this I, is logical I see, shit. I can see why they like. All right, I just did a lyrical album with Jerry fucking Seinfeld back to moving the goalposts. If Kendrick Lamar put out a Jerry Seinfeld album, he would be regarded as the best artist ever. Yeah. Well, no, I we don't We that. don't even have to imagine. Rick Ross put out an album with Chris Rock all over it and we still call it one of the best albums of the year. Mm-hmm. We don't do that with Wale. So, so and then, no, but then, then, he, then he switches up his style and does the shine shit. It's like, all right, let me do some party records that fit with this era and it still doesn't pop. I'm, so listen, I can I get his anger. I want to take this. I totally. I want to take this off of a Wale conversation and just broaden it for the listeners who really don't give a fuck about Wale, but do give a fuck about the cause, because the cause is still important. Even bigger than Wale is just the act that's grinding for years and years and mm-hmm. years and years unnoticed, unrecognized, and uncompensated. That's not a word, but you know what I mean. Right. Yeah, but people definitely need to start paying attention to Wale more, though. Because they're missing some great, great shit. Yeah, he makes great music. All right, my point is still bigger than Wale. Pay attention to, to, pay attention to and support the people that you want to continue to hear from. That's my only point. But sometimes whether people that, need to be told who they need to whether hear that be, from. And you know, this is the problem. With, you know, we were trying to figure out where Wale went wrong and all that. But this is much bigger than Wale. The problem in hip-hop is... Hip hop is like the only job where you don't get to redo your mistake. Mm-hmm. It's not a do over. Mm-hmm. Once you make the mistake, that's it. Song trash, uh, videos trash, you trash, something is trash. And now when you hit that shit out of the park, they still, eh, remember, they still remember the nah, trash. you still put out the trash. Yeah. And you still did the trash. Like we still. We still got a lot of Wale stench on us from how he spazzed on Complex, how he spazzed on all everybody on Twitter. He did a lot of spazzing back when me, him, and Fab looked stupid on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Which, which goes back to who backs you because I don't think a lot of people wanted to back Wale after all the antics, quote-unquote antics, he did online, in labels, at uh, Complex, any media outlets, period. He wasn't mm-hmm. making friends on his way to the top. Mm-hmm. He wasn't playing the game. Well, you know what? You know, I simp- I empathize with Wale because in a different scenario, I could, I could see it. Like, how are we supposed to feel about him when for a small time it looked like Ross and Meek was stepping away from him? Mm-hmm. Like, the people that, that he was calling camp mm-hmm. was looking like, nah, you not it. You not, that's not what we on I, right now. I, Once, think, but I think Wale's just not looked at as quote unquote cool. one of the cool guys cool yeah give me some more of the people who's not cool but are are making it and successful and relevant and rich and whatever I don't know logic that's one give me somebody who's not white um that's not cool looked at as cool but making it yeah but the wild shit is <laughs> mm. wow yeah. Wale is cool and it sucks that you have to 
make sure this nerd at Complex likes you for, no. your, for your career to do well. Who's not cool? But that's cool. Yeah, so Wale just doesn't just want to play. Wale, 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 just, Wale just doesn't want to play the new game. Like I've never been cool. I've never wanted to be cool. I've never know what cool meant really. So I never cared when niggas didn't call me cool. Wale just said like he's sensitive a little bit. So when people are not calling him uncool, like he feels it. Yeah, that bothers him. I think that's probably the difference. You need a little bit of. You need a whole lot of stubborn. He, while they need more <laughs> well, that, fuck you in his in yeah his, you need his, a his, whole his DNA. Lot he made of, that point with Ak when you were on Everyday Struggle like listen people can call me corny but you can't call me corny yeah that's why he's pissed the people that are calling him corny and are judging what's cool and not cool and what is going to work in music right now yeah you have to be the person but that's what I'm saying <laughs> while has to and I understand why he doesn't want to but you have to play the new game it's a new game all right that's well let, let's yeah. let's keep things current here. All, and I'm not going to talk about this because I vowed to myself I'm finished talking about M and M. But. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what I will you talk didn't about. You believe him, did you? What I will talk about is, you know, while last week I was all for white on white crime and hip hop, like white, white on white beef, in week two, it's boring. <laughs> like y'all don't fully do it <laughs> like, y'all don't take it there yeah y'all just yeah, I mean am I off <laughs> no no you're not like y'all well, I don't know M y'all have tiffs like it was a tiff I think M took it there just not with MGK I think that last bar took it there with Puff and I'm speculating here but that uh, was some shit nothing to speculate about nothing to talk about Puff said it's in his hands and he said I can say it. <laughs> All right. Uh, and, and that's the end of that. Have fun with that one. He said, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing to say about it. It's in my hands. He wild. Period. Okay. All right. Now and, the mall with sports. And that's when I did that shit. You talk about now the mall with sports. That's when I was on the phone like, yo, you see the Giants, man? <laughs> Yo, man, watch the quantity. Yeah, they should got to win, right? In Dallas? Eli could like really use a line. <laughs> Listen, man. Listen, I see, see, now, that's a conversation that I can't have on the podcast because of my brain. Mm. But, <laughs> this is bigger than rap. <laughs> that's bigger than rap. And I'm, I'm getting out of there because yeah. I'm afraid. Yeah. yeah. But that's bigger than rap. That's bigger than rap. So you just have to question Much why bigger. people do things sometimes. Like, what was it? Like, can, what are you doing, my nigga? Can we talk, can we just talk about the music away from that? Can we just talk about the music? Go ahead. I didn't listen to it. <laughs> MGK still got a better record, man. I agree. Yeah, but M has more fans. So now I'm seeing. We just uh, talking about music. It, was, right, it wasn't. It wasn't babies. a bad. This or response. It, it was wasn't. just that MGK. You got to clean up. There should be no debate. And that's like and that's yeah. the, all that's the judges should have said. All right, that's a sweep. Yeah. Right. See, I'm not allowed to say this, but it's not a bad. M, M had a, a debatable battle with MGK, <laughs> right? And that shouldn't be. Yeah, it should have been a clean, clean cut knockout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Bizarre still making videos. Oh, wait till the next nigga. Woo! That would do hit you with the woo. You can't do the woo. You can't do the woo and then the and then don't be a woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never been a war. Yeah, that wasn't really my thing. But not only that, who else was so? It was more white on white beef, I thought, besides MGK and M. Oh, G Easy and tell all the white guy Russ. <laughs> we just need logic to get in yeah. there and we rocking. Yeah. And then Rory is going to pop on somebody. Yeah. Rory's pussy. Yeah. That's a fact. Rory's not popping on I anybody. think it was confirmed this past two weeks. Yeah. I stayed out of all this beef. I'm yeah, pussy. He did. He was real quiet. And still, Russ is running around untouched. In my city, too. <laughs> Whole press run. Wow. Mad safe in my city. Wow, King. <laughs> you and Russ probably live in the same building. Don't even know it. <laughs> don't, don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. More, more, more. Chill. Don't, don't do that. I don't want to see don't, him on don't, the elevator. Yeah, don't say that here. Okay. You making it hot for Rory. Oh, okay. My Rory bad. can't get in the elevator with no buttons. Right. He can't just quickly press six and get off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I heard I put that shit in before. Yeah, nigga. Wait, so you saying I got to put a safety floor on? 
Russ, like if I'm going to the ground, I got to hit a seven in there just in case. Yeah, get off. I was reading uh, tweets from Adam22. The people listening probably don't know who Adam22 is, but uh, he's from No Jumper. Really, really big uh, forum. Uh, and he was telling an old story about how Russ sent the goons after him. I saw that. When he was getting <laughs> a manicure. <laughs> what, a bad, was, what a bad I, time for the goons. I was taken aback. <laughs> taken aback. You don't want to fight right after you get your nails Damn. Yeah, it sucks. Th- that's the number one time that you shouldn't fight. Your nails are fucking spotless. Yeah, catching a nigga <laughs> while his feet's in a pedicure bowl is crazy. Now you're trying to bloody my pedicure, my Manny Petty? Yeah. <laughs> Whoop your ass while your feet right in that warm water. Yeah. You want paraffin wax? First of all, how, how, I got some. I got some Asian nail spots in New York that wouldn't let that shit get do- uh, go down. Yeah. The goons come in. I think the the manicurist is going to hold you down. Rory, we're yeah, talking right. about nail spots, not Flo de Mayo. <laughs> Flo de Mayo. All right. <laughs> Go get Rory so much nails than it Flo de Mayo. <laughs> That's swag. I don't know what you're talking about. Flo de Mayo, you get a manicure. Yo, go and flow to Mayo act up. Let me get the beef Lomo in there. <laughs> them niggas will slide you right with the Lomo. Yeah. <laughs> you can slid, all, with a, them slid all across flow. <laughs> yeah. Adam 22 not going to the right spot. Nutcrackers spots. at you. Pause. Shout out to Adam 22, Adam man. 22 probably has a white person doing yeah, this. Yeah, I got a piece of that with Russ. I can't have that nigga coming to Edgewater where I get my nails done. Yeah, nah. <laughs> What's the address? That'll be bad. I don't even know. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> That's all we got on white on white crime? None. Yeah, you're our white on white correspondent. And won't correspond and know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga will not show up next. He will he not shook. correspond. Nah, I'm, I'm neutral, bro. He don't want to see Rory the Rory do be shook. He don't want to see the Russ goons. I'm tired of Rory being shook. That's funny. Sorry, bro. We got your back. I appreciate that. And guys. let me see your nails. And he ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> look at little. is ready to go. And don't look like he's been back to the manicure spot ever since that <laughs> <Yeah>. story broke. <laughs> 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 Keep, keeping your ass out of there, too, huh? Head on a swivel. Head on a swivel. <laughs> Do y'all speaking of head on the swivel? Do y'all want to talk about uh, Cat Williams uh, getting the gun pulled out on him by the morning show comedian's husband when he showed up to the night show to support the morning show comedian? Was yeah, that was interesting. That, was, that, that, that went left like quick. But he, I looked at that video a couple times. She was kind of digging at Cat though. Yeah, she was, started it. Yeah. yeah, like she was digging at Cat, and Cat just Cat responded. was on the defense. It, yeah, it was kind of like, listen, I ain't trying to go there with you, but once I go, I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> And I don't even think he said anything that was wild, disrespectful. No, nah, he didn't. He didn't. Yeah. But, but they're saying that he continued at oh, comedy club see. that night. Got you. Okay. Uh, it'd that's be, what they're it'd be it a few instances where I just where I in my head be wishing Cat Williams was just two feet taller. <laughs> like I, he took that gun from homeboy. Like niggas be pressing Cat because he's three feet tall. <laughs> yeah. Remember when a little sixth grader uh, put the paws on him? In yeah. Target. <laughs> that was crazy. And then, I thought it was a parking lot. I don't even know. Was it two sixth graders? He's nah, definitely that some, was a one-on-one. Some altercations. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you crazy if you had a one-on-one with a sixth grader. <laughs> As a 40-something-year-old man. Word. Yeah, but some of them niggas, man, <laughs> they be wilding sometimes. Yo. There's a lot of shit in the chicken now. Them, them sixth the, graders be kind of tall. The nigga that beat me up at Crowns was 17 or something. <laughs> 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 nigga was 17. Definitely had a high school ID on him. How old was I? 23 I was say 38 <laughs> 17 to 23 ain't bad nah, no, it's not nah, good. Nah. It's not good It's not good Anytime you get beat up It's not good But if you 48 And a nigga 16 beat you up Come nah, on well, yeah, Hold on 48 you, you, you might be out of shape 48, yeah, yeah. 23 you supposed to be in tip top 16 year old can't beat, beat your ass Beat the brakes out of me In front of crowns <laughs> The the great school. chicken too. I ain't even uh, eat my little they Italian did his, cheeseburger. They did his homework. <laughs> that nigga went to crown for nothing. <laughs> nigga went there to oh, get beat up. To... I ain't eat nothing. Now, did you, you went there for something. Yeah, I pay. that ass whooping. <laughs> Can I get an ass whooping? No, no ice. <laughs> Extra French fries on top of the ass whooping. Ass whooping neat. <laughs> Can I get, Can I get my ass whooping? No ice. Ass whooping neat. <laughs> That's fun. Let me get a two piece. Beat uh, my ass. I've never Lego seen him win. again. No, no, no. I need a two piece. Yeah, I want a two piece combo. Yo, what's? I heard you, nigga. That's fucked up when a nigga beat your ass and you don't see him no more. <laughs> you can't get your get back. <laughs> nah, you gotta take that loss forever. For the man. rest of life, I'm yeah. forty. Yeah. Yeah. I'm You're forty. Thinking about talking shit. about crowns, <laughs> and <laughs> now you can't go to crown. That nigga got a family now. He ain't thinking about Joe, man. How you know? I ain't thinking about that. That was a big seventeen year old man. <laughs> That'd be the thing, though. A lot that of nigga can beat me now. Yeah, <laughs> 
Oh, hey, nigga, could hey, be now. Hey, wait, what the it kids, wasn't an accident. What, wait, no, <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? If that fight happened today, same, same, result. Result. same, oh, same, same result. In my house, put us wherever you want to put us at. He's winning. <laughs> Yo, that is hilarious. You can't let no young nigga whoop your ass in your house. <laughs> Yo, that, that nigga. Hey, white on white crime don't look so bad now, does it? Man, that nigga was strong. <laughs> Yo, you know how you laugh at dudes that be in the gym every day until it's time? Yeah, you like to the gym. Now his muscles are needed. Yep. <laughs> That's yeah, a fact. That nigga slammed me right to the ground. <laughs> feet all day. Your feet shouldn't be dangling in the sky. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, that is some you know how I knew I was hurt? <laughs> you know how I knew said, I was wait. hurt. He said, wait, chill. <laughs> a nah. wait chill or do it too. <laughs> yeah, wait hey, a wait chill or tell nah, you. Now you lost when you wait chill. Dill was mad sleep when I called him and told him. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I called Dill. He sound angry at me. Yeah, like, fan, why are you getting chicken at? <laughs> why are you out getting That's chicken at three a.m.? Twenty three. You was you was popular at that time, right? Oh, yeah. Why was you? Nah, I had dog? no business getting chicken oh back God. then. All right, yeah, whatever, man. I hope that guy's all right. <laughs> he, he's fine. He's, 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 he's somewhere hoping I'm fine. Yeah, he's Ma. great. My bad, bro. I'm just saying he's all right. Y'all ever see a nigga you lost a fight to? Hell yeah. Hmm. Like, tell me more. <laughs> just wanted to steal on that nigga. He ain't seen me. I saw him though. Oh, I got it. Got it. Got it. Seen that nigga in the mall walking around. I was like, I, should, I could catch this nigga right. He with his family. But you had a flashback. Yeah, that's, him, no. yeah, that's corny though. You can't catch a nigga while he with the kids, man. I mean, how hurt is your ego? It wasn't that bad of a fight. Like I, ain't, I ain't get my ass whooped, ego really but hurt. I lost the fight. But I ain't get my ass. <laughs> but it was a clear loss. Like, yeah, it was. A it wasn't a yeah, debatable. It was a, <laughs> that nigga was it wasn't strong. Canelo Triple G. Yeah, was nah, your feet nah. dangling in the air? No, no, no. He he tried to swoop me. I, <laughs> I said this strong nigga swoop me off my feet. I might not wake up. Man. Yeah, the swoop. Yeah, I had to lock under that nigga nah, under all this shit. That. I was like, no, 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 no. Yo, <laughs> your hood niggas got to know how to get out of uncomfortable situations. <laughs> For real. Remember when like your friends would put you in a full Nelson? Like people you love. Yeah. Like, just, <laughs> like practice vulnerable. You try to act like it wasn't, You try to act like shit wasn't hurting you yeah. Your whole face is blue <laughs> Nigga your whole Shoulder about to yeah, pop Now you dead <laughs> <laughs> About to Always pop your whole playing, shoulder man. Fucking around Always That's playing Yeah I never caught none of the, Now that I'm thinking about it, I never caught none of the niggas I lost to The Hindus Homeboy <laughs> The Hindus beat you What up? the Hindus I thought they jumped me Oh shit But I don't really Getting jumped is like getting jumped. Nah, but I felt like I could take one. It was like three of them, and they were short, so I felt like I could take them. They no, whole squad Hindus, was like, three the whole squad ten. was down the yeah. hill. Yeah. <laughs> three Hindus is really tough. Them niggas ran up with sticks. Yeah. Sticks. Everything. <laughs> I took a few hits, but I got out of there. <laughs> <laughs> you had no choice. Got to get on your wheels. Yo, why me and you exchanging stories and Rory quiet? Yeah, yeah, check him out. Listen, man. Listen, man. <laughs> neutral. neutral. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah, neutral. I know. Yo, come on, Roy. That's crazy, man. Niggas definitely chased you, you in Queens before. I, I'm cool with my cool dudes I lost a fight to. Call me Mr. Chimney. Wait, where is that? What is it? He, he said he cool with one of them. I'm cool with one of them now. Really? It's my man. That's honorable. You know, teenage, it don't really be beef. It's just a, a misunderstanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I don't know if I could be fly with him today. Like, what if he still feel like he well, could no, take I, me? I, my strategy was that people would see how cool he was and kind of forget how bad the fight was. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's that's the nigga you, you just give give your strong dab to. Oh! <laughs> yeah. And I was thinking if I got yeah. into more beef, I know he could fight already. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, already, I'm I testing him out I ain't even looking at it that he way. Know, I know he could go. That so makes sense. Go. Yeah. Yo, every time. I was 110 pounds, man. You mean was? I, I needed allies. <laughs> oh, no, I see you've been doing shoulders. Yeah, you know. You've been doing something with his shoulders. You've been doing shoulders. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've been doing something with his shoulders. <laughs> I always want, every time we talk on this podcast, I wonder why women listen. <laughs> I just had this conversation to Try to yesterday. understand. Because women listen. Think a lot of them. Women listen. Why? Because I think they think we're <laughs> actually laugh, honest. And, and they laugh at our stupid opinions on too. women and relationships and shit like that. They just, well, it's, more it's, yours. It's, it's, it's sort of, yeah, more mine. But it's sort of like, they just don't know. Okay, actually, I'm glad. I didn't even mean to talk about this, but I'm glad that we bumped into this. You you've been tweeting some real stupid shit, no? Stupid? Uh, you've been active. For information. Just looking for information. Wait, is this like stupid. when Brandon did that skit and he was trying to get information, oh, like shit. the analytics on Instagram skits? That was, that was funny. That was funny. Um, well, not that much information. Okay. I'm not looking for that much. Well, information. I was I was home minding my business, like being a dad. 
Mm-hmm. You never minding your business, man. For that's, true. that's such a lie. Yeah, I was home looking for some other people's business to mind. <laughs> I'll be honest with y'all. But Maul was tweeting about sex, which I thought was odd because he hasn't been in a committed relationship. So you know, I don't think Maul's just out there having sex casually with everyone, are you? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. But you were saying how, and you already know I think you corny for trying to be cool in just places that you shouldn't be cool. Mm -hmm. You were tweeting how men who let the girl take their underwear off before sex are suckers. Mm -hmm. Can you explain more of this to me? Well, it was just weird to me that a man would be laying in the bed and like, <laughs> like, wait, what? Like, I can't lay in the bed. He's serious. <laughs> no, but I, I know y'all I'm, think we're joking. I got to finish what I'm saying. Go ahead. Like, for a man to be laying in the bed and like the girl try to like take his underwear off, you know, you got to kind of raise your ass off the bed a little bit. So like mm, that, not, not really. My t- come on. Well, your drawers tied, no. double knotted or something. So, right. Swim trunks. Okay, then <laughs> if you don't, if you don't raise your ass off the bed, then it turns into her like ripping your underwear off. Because you have to, you have to get the. La- I buy, I buy hands, hands, bro. That. Right? No, there's something to get the. So I, I was just thinking yeah, about I like it. a strong bitch. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> she's curling your hips. <laughs> yeah, like, it just, it just wouldn't be be a sexy moment anymore. Now it's like, all right, she's ripping tearing my underwear. So mm-hmm. I was just wondering, like, do men allow that to happen? He must have very expensive underwear. Yeah, he don't want the chick to rip his kiss. <laughs> yeah, no, you're, not ri- you're not ripping my underwear. Nigga <laughs> wearing kiss. Yeah, no. Don't rip my underwear. We ain't doing that. But the funny shit is the responses that women were giving. No, let's not get to that yet, though. I'm not finished judging you. Oh, okay. What if... <laughs> That's just the type of shit I think about. The kiss. <laughs> Has this crossed your mind when it was happening to you? No. Okay. Maul, there's nothing uncool about what you're saying, man. You can't let your, you can't let a girl just take your underwear off. Sure you can. Take yes, your own, you can. Take your, take your own underwear off, bro. <laughs> never. No. <laughs> never. Never. <laughs> I've never taken off Joe's my on own drawers. Of this Are argument. you kidding me? Yeah, that's why I wanted to talk to him. Because explain it to me. But granted, Maul has a lot more sex than me. So, so like, let me like, ask you something. So you let Sin take your underwear off? Well, first of all, no, I don't sleep with nothing when I'm okay. in bed with my wife. Now, that really? was another that thing I was saying because I'm like, if you you if you count it with a, with a woman around I'm you, butt you, ass. Yeah, like you But already, I get butt ass for anything and play with the dog. Like, <laughs> I get butt at the dishes. Yo, like, the, I just get butt. What the butt. fuck is happening I, I like being naked. <laughs> Oh, you got like a chef and a staff that live with you. Come on, fam. <laughs> I'm not letting like Chef Corey look. Get Don't worry. Naked to play with your dog. <laughs> That's <is> crazy. <laughs> Which no. is also gross because you make out with him. As soon as I walk into my bedroom, I hit the, the shimmy. No, I hit the I, naked shimmy. I, I, I get that. <laughs> Y'all don't hit the naked shimmy as soon as you walk in your room? Yeah, sure. In the crib, yeah. I definitely only have underwear on. But not at, to play at, with But what I'm look. saying, I do it in like one move. <laughs> like, I, everything is off like in a, a fireman? Like, you, you, you got the drawers me Your drawers me Inside your Nikes, whatever. <laughs> that should be off in a matter of seconds, and I'd be sitting there watching Channel ID, chilling. No, I feel you. I feel you. But yeah, no, I just was. I was just wondering, like, if guys like there's nothing wrong with lifting their your waist up bed. off yeah, the bed a little bit more. The women, the, a lot of women thought that was a little funny style. No, only the Bronx women. It wasn't. There was no women from the Bronx. <laughs> you, you have to, to widen your network. It wasn't no women from the Bronx. My mentioned. All right, so where were they from? Was you asking? Oh, you look at some. They <laughs> see, look, Houston, <laughs> you want- Cali. Someone from overseas. Houston chicks is definitely taking your drawers off. I was just the worst. <laughs> Houston women are definitely I'm doing judge, that. I'm judging. I'm judging you if if you were a chick today taking your drawers off. No, don't don't touch my drawers. I'll take my own drawers off. Thank you. Thank what you. If, what if that's like her thing? That's not. Nah, what if that? Thing. What if what if that gets her off? Taking my drawers off. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong chick. <laughs> that's, on, a, that's a that's a that's a nasty kink. Stop her? That's a nasty kink. What? You gonna stop her? Yeah, get off my drawers, man. I take my own underwear off. Man. <laughs> trying to meet to her with your drawers? Right. <laughs> okay. Exactly. All right, I'm done. See, I didn't think it was that crazy. See, y'all be thinking that I be tweeting weird shit. No, you tweet weird shit. <laughs> I don't tweet weird that, shit. That, that's 100% weird, okay. but it's okay. We we went through all of this time on the podcast, and we didn't discuss the Oscars, I mean, the Emmys at all. I, I was watching Monday Night Football. Yeah, I didn't see the Emmys. Yeah, I went back and forth. <laughs> I, Emmys. I heard the Fonz got an Emmy, though. The Fonz? Like Fonzie? Yeah. yeah. Congratulations, Fonz. For what? Yeah, I don't, I don't care. know. So, 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 I tried, more happy days? I, I tried I to act like I, I care. Regina King won one. Yo, the Fonz? Did she? Yeah, for uh, seven, Wait, Regina. Seven, seven seconds. 
dope. <laughs> no, it's not. They canceled this show after one season. Oh, it was a great one season. Yeah, she got an Emmy. What was there? Yeah, they'd have to do a whole nother... The case was done. <laughs> Fuck it. She got an Emmy. Uh, so on to the next case. I was into it. I was into it. Joe won more cases. Shit. I want to solve some more shit before they solve it on the show myself. I knew <laughs> that's the type of nigga Joe is. I want to solve it before the show solves it. That's the voice you give me? Yeah. <laughs> I do think it's dope she won an award. I don't like that Super she dope. won an award for a show that that's we can't see anymore. On. That's yeah. a little disappointing, but no, you could, you fine, could I understand it. it. Speaking of shows uh, that we won't there. see anymore, so Roseanne, Roseanne is out of here. They got the spin off the Connors, but now they're killing off Roseanne uh, by an opioid People getting killed overdose. off on that show is fucking nuts. <laughs> I get killed off your own show. <laughs> on a sitcom. It's even nutser. <laughs> nutser. You get killed off your own show. Also. <laughs> on a comedic sitcom. People all, get killed off. <laughs> also, speaking of death, see, this is why, this is why I say, say everybody ain't allowed to just speak on my behalf after I'm perish. Nah, we still speaking. No, no everybody ain't speaking. You ain't gonna be there. You didn't read your Spotify contract. <laughs> <laughs> I sent him a contract. You didn't read it for shit. No, what I'm saying is, uh, Mac Miller's trainer is reporting that Mac Miller would be mad that he died. I think he can report that if I died too. I would be mad. I'd be mad too. At 26, I is this the mad. same guy that reported if you like the R&B Drake? <clears throat> And the hip hop Drake, <laughs> then you'll love this Drake. <laughs> that's funny. I don't know if that's the same guy, but I would be mad too. Thank, thank you, Mac Miller trainer. <laughs> thank you, Mac Miller trainer. I like for the breaking. Fuck moves. is he talking about? We, I think we all agree that yes, yeah, he would be mad. Yeah, thanks. We appreciate it. Um, we touch everything important. Pause. What's my phone? No, it was definitely something else that we wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, y'all want to talk more about JD and Bow Wow? Y'all didn't really tell us. A, y'all didn't really wait. tell us what's going on there. Like we just made some jokes, but no. Well, Rory said they apparently they been they've beefing been beefing forever. Well, I didn't never knew us, that. Tell us more about because I never knew that Rory. It's always been in Instagram comments back and forth, and then Bow Wow would get back on his Instagram, and be like, "Yo, I love JD forever. That's my guy." And then the next day, they'll be back in each other's comments. This has been going on for years. But were they joking or was no, that like a real dead thing? Ass. I never knew that. That's news yeah. to me. I never knew that. My whole childhood was a lie. Yo, what, what years is your childhood? So I'm trying to figure this <laughs> still out. <there>. Now. <laughs> I'm, I'm still now. in my childhood. But I'm saying, if, if we're to take what he's saying, like at, at face value, what Jermaine Dupree was saying, then, then now, damn, a little worried about Bow Wow for real. <laughs> yeah. Like if uh, Jermaine Dupree is saying Bow Wow has been Bow Wowing, like y'all think this is some new shit, but he's been a little wild for some years. Yeah. Then I'm concerned and about And he seems Bow not wow. to even care from what Jermaine is saying. Like, he seemed like he don't even care. Like, yeah, whatever. It seemed like Jermaine didn't give too much of a fucker. Well, he just said that Jermaine didn't put him on. Snoop did. Stop giving JD credit. Fuck him. Wait, what? Like, oh. yeah, no. This Yo, been Rory, going on why are you time. holding on to the T? <laughs> I, I didn't know we had to break the Bow Wow and JD news. I'd like the T. <laughs> yeah, I love J- T. JD definitely. Come on, man. Like we oh, know I, didn't know he, I didn't know he said that. That was when Bow Wow was saying that he was the original <laughs> member of the Dog Pound. It was him, Daz, and Corrupt. And relax. Then, I'm, not, yo, I'm not lying I at all right now. I remember that picture. <laughs> Me too. Well, yeah, but Bow Wow yeah. got to relax, though. He definitely was. He was seven. I know. <laughs> when the Dog Pound. He was the original member. You're saying Dog Pound was a shaman? <laughs> <laughs> he can't be a, mem- <laughs> a member of the Dog Pound at seven, though. No. <laughs> Mom, I'm just talking shit. I know. I know. I can't I know. believe that we're signed. <laughs> I, don't, I don't be saying shit. <laughs> we have an underwear debates. <laughs> what is Bow Wow doing though? He's chilling. Mm-hmm. Like, Loving just... his girl. Oh, yeah, he did have a kid. He's been he's been screaming out for help for a really long time. But then he just be pulling back like nah, I was just wilding. I was kidding. Bow Wow's a legend, man. That's all that matters. All right, well speaking of Bow Wow, y'all y'all don't see Sierra trying to sneak new music out there? <laughs> no. I mean, after I was, oh and two, after, she's doing after a that, great job. That game last night has <laughs> come across. She's got to be the breadwinner. <laughs> she's doing a great job at sneaking because I haven't no, f- snuck right by me. No, she well, got, no, she, she tried got the to whole use uh, Shiggy as the rollout. I saw the Shiggy picture. Wait, I did see one video where she was uh, she was doing some African dances or something like that in the middle with of Shiggy. It, she was listen. She was in the middle of Atlanta dancing with uh, the whole drumline staff. I didn't see that. <laughs> Who's the drumline? Staff? Everybody was in the movie Drumline th- with the drums. Yeah, I didn't see that. I seen the African dance. That 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 video I remember seeing. 
Did Anything you, else? Did you no. see the Seahawks versus the Bears? No. Any correlation, do you think, to why Sierra's trying to sneak some music out there? <laughs> it's going to be a rough season. It's not looking good for the Seahawks. Legion of Boom is over with, buddy. <laughs> Legion of Boom. <laughs> the Legion of Boom is over with. That motherfucker. Oh, wait, Russell no, it's Legion Wilson. of Doom. <laughs> the Legion of Boom. My own Boom. lyrics are stuck in my head. Hey, Richard Sherman ain't walking through that door, sis. <laughs> I'll leave, I'll leave football up to y'all. Russell, Russell Wilson was running for his life. Dog, he had about .5. <laughs> the moment that ball was snapped, he had a Chicago bear in his face. You know it's a problem when you're looking at a nigga and saying, damn, that nigga arm's big. Like, every time they show Khalil Mack, I was like, damn. <laughs> so, sorry, Russ. <laughs> Who's supposed to stop him? They putting 400-pound niggas in front of Khalil Mack. He just moved. <laughs> Give me that, Russ. That's fucked up. He moved the five hundred. He, he moved the five hundred pound nigga. Tipped the football with his pinky ass. <laughs> like, like enough of this, Khalil Mack. Shit. What's John Gruden thinking? <laughs> 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 Khalil Mack looks great. Yeah. <laughs> he Pete looks Carroll like a machine. Is already looking at some college teams right now. I can see it in his face. Yeah, yeah. Sierra went to the studio right after that game. <laughs> I tell you that much. <laughs> she didn't just think. <laughs> I gotta get the dancing. Yeah, yeah. You better I gotta get, dance the way Russ get to Russ it, honey. Last night. <laughs> yeah, because this bad. He was in the he was back. in the pocket dancing like fucking Sierra last night. <laughs> Damn. Oh man, poor Russ. I feel like it's some other shit to get to. Oh. Wait, so you're part of the TMZ route? Like, this is where Joe Button get his, his eggs. Ranch. <laughs> Shout his, out to Saddle Ranch. Though. Gets his Good eggs. Food there. Yeah. It is. Wait, right on the strip and shit. Yeah, no, I know. Joe this is I know that stopped. There is a TMZ the bus stop right there. This is where Joe Budden gets his eggs. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have sleepers? I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Got to talk some more on fucking Saturday. That's fine. <laughs> this is two podcasts a week. I like it, though. Yeah. I do like it. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I had fun. I liked it. It was a vibe. <laughs> uh, vibe. <laughs> I don't want that word to die. Vibe? Yeah. I can't die. Oh, no, it could die. It describes something too well. I thought swag would never die, and I died. I mean, we still say it, but kind of jokingly. Well, we, well, we never joke. said it seriously. I, that's the problem. <laughs> then when you say some shit joking, they're like, yo, you still saying that? You trash. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what happens when... That is swag. swag. That's swag. We were talking about how Corduroy is cool again. Yeah, but Corduroy was always kind of cool. We was just we wasn't smart as kids. We thought well, it was yeah, trash. It wasn't cool when I was six. Then the, I, then the polo store had it when you was in... High school you said Corduroys are back Yeah I like it now And boy do they really kill it When they only put it on One segment of the article of clothing Oh yeah <laughs> Like now. just the wrist It's corduroy <laughs> Corduroy wrists Yeah it Sounds I, like a bar Might be a dope bar Yeah Rory are you playing An emotional orange sleeper today Uh no I think I'll Wale I'll, I'll skip No we, we, we covered that already Frank Ocean I don't think I've ever played A Frank Ocean sleeper Oh I don't think he's really had a sleeper since we've had a podcast. I'm talking shit. I don't even know what I'm playing. Let me go look in here. Oh, you know what? See, y'all been killing me, right? <laughs> y'all, y'all kill me. I don't. We need, we need to figure out what the rules are to this sleeper thing because I be thinking I'm playing sleepers and then y'all try to kill me. So, I remember one time I came in here and tried to play an old song, and y'all told me I couldn't play it because it wasn't a sleeper. Yeah, because it was. Can like- I play old songs? You were playing um, like Isley Brothers between the sheets, and we was like, "Come on!" Fam. It depends on who's the artist. So you can play an old song in yeah. the sleeper segment. Yeah. But, All right, sure. don't. But can it be like kind of a sleeper though, and not like a hit record? All right, so I'm playing my sleeper. Okay. This is Prince. No, I'm gonna <laughs> play. Rain. I am gonna play. <laughs> Yo, I am a real idiot. When did you just hear weird thoughts derived from from my brain? I'm gonna play H Town record from 1994. Okay. And boy, I love this record. I've been playing this record all day long because I remember how much I love this record. But then when I remembered why I like was really into this record at 14, boy, was I a big loser, man. <laughs> what what a fucking loser. No. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking loser at 14. Like, who was I trying to fucking swore off their feet? We all been to that point at, at 15. At 14. Yeah, that's the time yeah, when it starts. Yeah. yeah, that's when we learn our On the slow from. jam tip. Yeah, that's yeah. what we learned it from. Yeah. So when I thought about this, I thought, wow, like, damn, this was this was the time where I really, really started to get into girls. Damn, I really lost a lot of the things that I personally loved 
when I started to get into girls. Of course. <laughs> so then I wanted to come here and ask y'all, like, what part of yourself did you lose when you got into girls? Because you're going to lose some of yourself. Sports. Yeah. I haven't played a fucking round of basketball. <laughs> yeah. there's, some, uh, there's something about, no, there's something that you love that you, it's just, it's the not chicks, there anymore. The chicks like the athletes. That's why I kept up with sports. It wasn't really for the love. <laughs> What's for the chicks? I ain't shot a single hoop since I got some pussy. Yeah, fucking with sin, I ain't seen none of the shows that I loved when I was alone well, and single. Right. <laughs> you have That'd to make a great topic one day. We like, gotta really go deep dive into that. that. I'm telling you, it's true. Pussy has really stopped some great things from happening. It's from a me. distraction. <laughs> yeah. Pussy changed my entire taste of music because in 04, 05, snap music came and I only like boom bap underground rap yeah. they had me out here doing the fucking Laffy Taffy just trying to get some pussy yeah. I hated that music how you was doing it I hate that you had to go through that <laughs> I forgot I, forgot, I hate that you had to go through that Rory let me find it <laughs> you think you'll hear muscle memory if nah, I play the beat I don't think so. <laughs> muscle memory <laughs> if my One fresh lips are crushed out by laffy taffy. <laughs> get it to your Laffy my nigga <laughs> yeah, let me see why you can't get it to your Laffy one time though how you spell Laffy how you spell Laffy? Oh, I don't even have it L-A-F-F-Y. Rory you can't get it to your Laffy though nah man right, let me try to do it not for your niggas doom <laughs> it's really only three beats. Like, listen, bro. Doom, 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 doom. Hey, you gotta doom, give him a couple doom, A's. Hey. Come on, more. Don't, 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 hey, don't, hey, don't, hey, hey. Doom, My name don't even start with an A. Hey, don't, don't, don't. Hey, come on, Rory. Capless. Hey, don't, don't, don't. Hey, you a Kappa? Come on, don't. You a Kappa? You are a capper. I keep forgetting that, bro. Yeah, man. You're definitely laughing into the tap. Of course. He, he doesn't know in a line all the cappers. <laughs> he ruined 14. the whole part. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You the youngest nigga in the capper line doing that shit. And, and the whitest. <laughs> Uh, and the whitest or the reddest. He was snapping on the one. Oh, oh yeah. I'll cut his yeah, snap was mad. <laughs> on the one. On the one. Yeah. <laughs> snapping. Nah, on the someone, one. someone, uh, someone tweeted out that M rapped on the one and the three, and I was like, yeah, it's the shit we dance on. The one and the three. M definitely raps on the one and the three. I say, yeah, it's what white sure. people dance on. Is M done three. putting out interviews? No. <laughs> Are they still coming? Part 19 part is nine? tomorrow. <laughs> part 19. Oh, wait. So we didn't talk about this, and I'm not going to talk about it because I love Royce, and Royce is way more. I don't talk about Royce in this podcast because Royce is too mature for this podcast. And, and, <laughs> like, and Crook, and Crook, Crook answered me in one of his posts. He said he don't got no bars for you. Yeah, he did. That's all I want to, oh, Crook, I want you to know you my nigga. You know that, but I know good and God's in well. You lying your motherfucking asshole. Everybody knows he's lying. <laughs> Crook, you what not, is he talking cause, about? Because if you look at Crook when he said it, he just kept looking at the scars but like, I ain't got no bars. Yeah, like, yeah. What the fuck? He, he looking, looking at, at the, the sky. Bars. Crook, if you don't get the fuck yeah, out come of on, here, Crook. nigga, like, we drop know the what, record, we know, man. Oh, or don't. I'm no, going to light your ass up. Drop the ra- I want to hear it. Fuck it. I told Crook I think I can light his ass up. I told him no face. I would want to hear it. Only nah. because I know it would just be that. It would just be music. So I would want to see it. I well, want to We're not going to see it. And I'm not talking about it. Because every time we even mention it on this podcast, Crook go on for the whole week. Crook, I'm joking, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I'm, I know it's I'm a I'm kidding. I, I'm kidding. I'm joking. Man, I'm talking shit. We love you. Fo- and that's the end. Crook can't fool me with that shit, Maul. I ain't got no ball. Yeah, I know. I'm in a different space, you know. Don't different space me, nigga. But drop the record. Because I know you got it uploaded waiting. He's sitting at the Pac-Man machine that M was sitting at. I said, man, that record is on ready to go. It's yeah, I ain't going to lie. These, these niggas was trying to make Pac-Man a lot more interesting than it is. I wanted to but, go play Pac-Man after that. Like, damn, I ain't played that game in a while. No, but that, that's my point. That The picture made me want to play Pac-Man. It didn't do the whole chance standing in the doorway Oh, you didn't get that same <laughs> allure. It didn't give me that so chance of mystique. In the doorway. Yeah, I feel you. I mean, what if there was Pac Man in the doorway? Uh, then maybe. And uh, Crook don't even look like a nice at Pac Man. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> when Crook was ever on the Pac Man machine. Um, shout out to Crook. Uh, no more white on white. Uh, be, we done. I don't want to hear no more disc records from niggas, man. It's over, right? Uh, yeah. For now. For now. Oh wait, that's what I was talking about. I was talking about Royce because Royce is too mature for us to talk about on this podcast, so we don't talk about him. And I love him. We all big fans of Royce, right? But this Royce JLX thing. <laughs> Listen, who are you guys picking? Royce. <laughs> what would you make it suspenseful? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was excited. To see, I opened up title and saw the J Electronic uh, finally put out his album. See, come on, hey, I was very excited. Then I saw the track listing and it was Exhibit C and Exhibit A and the other one. Gotta put Exhibit C and A on there. It's the greatest hits EP. 
I'm done with you, Parks. <laughs> Maul, who you got? <sighs> Royce. Yeah. I don't have enough product from Jay Elect to know if he can handle that. Rory, who you got? I think I'm going to take Ryan Montgomery. Yeah. This is a safe bet. So who you got? You got Jay Elect? Oh, man. I would you got to be the contrarian. Right no, not Call no. Royce. Call him. Royce is, Royce is too always great mature to talk. for us to nah, call man. from a nah, podcast. No, he's I'm not. Yes, he is. C- call him and let's find out. No, he's going to be mad. If he said no, <laughs> call, call him and find out. No. no. Call him, man. No. Damn, he's going to be mad. Man. I want to talk to my guy, he's, Royce. Then call him, nigga. <laughs> I, I call him later on. <laughs> you know he'd be mad, too. You know he'd be mad, too. <laughs> yeah, no, Royce too mature to play with us. Wait, where did the beef come from? Twitter? The Jay Elect beef? Yeah. Well, Jay Electronica mentioned after the uh, the Tupac hit line on Eminem's diss, Jay felt the type of way about that. Oh. Shouldn't be talking about Puff that way and things oh. of that nature. So you Wait, he said Jay felt a way about it? No, no, Jay Electronica. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, not hope. You shouldn't talk about Puff that way. Well, Roy said, all right, say my name. <laughs> <laughs> said, mind your fucking business. He said that to him? No. In a tweet. Uh, he said, but we knew it was directed at. We know at. he's Oh, okay. I missed that little exchange. <laughs> it yeah. wasn't an exchange. Roy said Roy something said, and that was the end. Mind your fucking business. <laughs> and, and then, then JLX Twitter disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he deleted his Twitter? Uh, any, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know where he's at. I would, um, probably, I would probably delete my Twitter if Roy dissed me too. I would, I would like to see that battle just because I'd like to hear J Electronica rap again. That's true. I'd like to hear to see Crook jump in. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, you want him to rap so bad Y'all have no sense of humor Y'all have no sense of humor Y'all have no sense of humor We have a great sense of humor Then why aren't you laughing You better just hope Crook got a great sense of humor <laughs> that's, what I, that's why I'm quiet right now You better hope he giggles at that one <laughs> Like listen Joey You know you got sick, the cigars <laughs> Joey I heard your podcast <laughs> We not making this a thing <laughs> Lionel Yo, and let me just say while this record is playing, fans, I got to apologize to y'all because y'all are absolutely right. I should not speak with such confidence and candor in retirement because I could be trash. (laughs) And it's like, if you ain't going to get in the booth, then nigga, shut up. Y'all are right. Y'all are all right. And you would would kill you for saying this thing. 100%. You a podcast. However, I can see it in your eyes. (laughs) I can see. Love you. <laughs> All right, sleeper. All right, so I'm going to get into this H Town record. H Town. H Town record. Right? That's how you feel it? Y'all wasn't outside. Um, it's not knocking the boots. Where are we at? Where's my record? Why am I over here? Let me go over here. Because I had to buy it again. That's how I know you trash. That you, you recently adding H Town to you. I had to purchase it. Again is what I said because okay. I had a bad copy as I played it like from '94 in my computer. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Sound exactly. Printed exactly. directly yeah. to your laptop. Yeah, and then I didn't, even, I didn't even think. I said, "Oh shit, yo! I never thought to type in H Town in iTunes." Like we start typing the old niggas in. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, wonderful. This album was trash, but boy, did I love this song. Uh, so I'm gonna play "One Night Gigolo" oh. by H Town. Rest in peace, Dino. Damn. <laughs> I be forgetting niggas died, man. Somebody had to tell me that Patrick Swayze passed uh, in 09. I forgot that, honestly. Rest in peace, Pat Swayze, yeah. Ace Town, one night gigolo. Y'all want now outside. Yeah, I want you to be all you can be. Baby. I was playing this in the crib. Sim was like, oh, that's like the guy Fantasia. I was like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, baby? <laughs> From six to nine, looking top, living on the bottom line. 
Working hard in the city trying to survive Spending all your time And she don't need no man Try to tell her how to live And to do a job Baby, you need someone who can say that they love you And be there for you Baby, I'm just here to see you, baby I'll be the one Chigalow, 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 Baby, yeah. I'll be a one-night chigalow. I'll be a one-night love. Oh, yeah. Back in the days, a woman could relate. But now we're living in a new jack world It's all about an independent game And you see it, she's straight right Just straight right The way a man runs your life But I wanna hold you tight Baby, it's gonna be alright Be whatever you believe that Baby, don't you, you see I just want to be yeah. All right, all right, baby I want to take out the way you had Not even in the sky to close it you had I just want to see you Just want to be, want to be, want to be All a man to you, babe All right, all right, all right Baby, you don't have to tell me where have you been Baby, I don't wanna know you been with your friends I don't care where you spend the night, baby oh, yeah. All right, all right, baby You see, baby All I want is one time I don't care What you do, baby if you just give me one night, let me hear you clever. This is why sometimes you got to go back to the old R&B records because that's when they add the extra three minutes of just singing over the chorus. Like, I missed that. <laughs> These new niggas, y'all just make everything an interlude. Nigga, make the fucking song eight minutes like we like. <laughs> Triple stack that shit, too. Yeah, shout out to H-Town, man. All right, Rory, what we doing? 
Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce this, but Sonny... Uh, That's not how you say that. Sonny Cologne? I don't know. Anyways, this is a uh, baby. Didn't, didn't I attempt mind. to check either. Where are going to play a funky guitar, man? Rory keep playing Austin Mills records. Some Dilla drums. <laughs> mm. No, no Dilla drums in this one. That is a Dilla drum. <laughs> that's that's Dilla drums. No, that's, that's a Dilla drum. drum. That's not, not the drum. drum. That's a similar little Dilla hey, pattern. Yeah, it's a similar bass. Ain't no snare situation. there. Nah. No, no it's a snare you. with the drum. <laughs> Right, ladies and gentlemen, brand new music from Austin Mills. <laughs> That's not from Austin Mills. <laughs> that one That's, is called uh, Ain't Cologne, Nothing But baby, a Duce Party. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I had enough of this shit, man. <laughs> Wait. Ain't nothing but a Duce Party. <laughs> they don't that even, sound kind of fire. Y'all don't even play the hard West Coast shit at Duce. Y'all so trash. Oh, my God. You, yo, I want to live in your brain one day just to no, just the shit you trust be making me, up. It's a horrible place. <laughs> it's just, yeah, I don't want. I want to just be yeah. making up. But you don't want to. Be, trust me, man. I love you. Uh, this is Al Doe. This is Duffel with the chains out.
That's Al Doe. The joint is called Duffel. Shouts to Al Doe, man. I like that shit a lot. That was really dope. Yeah, he was rapping. You know where he's from? Al Doe's from Harlem, right? Oh, no. He's from the Bronx. Yeah. Okay. Dope. Everybody more plays is from the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true at all. It is. <laughs> no, it's not. Jag, Griselda. Jag ain't from the Bronx, man. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm talking shit. Shout out to Griselda. Um, you want to talk about this breaking news? What news broke? Yeah, I wish I had my breaking news sound, but... <laughs> Do do do. That's not the sounds. Do you got a saxophone player? Do 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 do. That shit is hard. <laughs> you know it's hard when you, the, the nigga do it with his mouth and it sound hard. Pause. Oh, whoa. I said pause. All right, just just it's go still. to the breaking news. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, last night, uh, Kylie Jenner had a life changing moment. I will quote her. <sighs> and Maul doesn't know about it because they don't kick it no more. See him by the shots. Mm-hmm. Let's go, Roy. And I quote, Last night, I had cereal with milk for the first time. Life-changing. Wealth. What? You know what type of rich you got to be? To never, <laughs> to never have milk and cereal until you're 25? Yeah, they just be throwing their wealth in our face. <laughs> Fuck did you put in your cereal before that? Just She didn't know what cereal was. <laughs> yeah, why would she know that? She is? never even had cereal, period? <laughs> I meant to ask Wale. Wale was tweeting that he met Willow Smith, and she's the most interesting person he's ever met in his life. Hmm. I meant to ask him about that. I'll ask he him said tomorrow what? if he hits me. That he met uh, Willow Smith, and she was the most interesting person he's ever met. He just posted a picture of Will Smith. He said, oh, yeah, he said so Will and not Willow? Uh, yeah. He said Willow, not Will? He said Willow. Okay. He was hanging with the whole fam. Good for him, man. Shout out to Wale. Wait, hold on. To answer all the questions I know all of you are, are asking Rory, right now, Rory. it was Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> Rory. All right. <laughs> all right. So check That's this out. Whack first check, cereal. Y'all, Chill, y'all, whoa, don't slander Cinnamon you Toast You guys crunch. have been a great audience. <laughs> cinnamon Toast on the... Introduction to cereal? That's your first cereal? That's not a bad first cereal. No, nah, that's yeah, not that the first cereal. What's that the first one? Trash. You like Frosted Flakes. Whoa, Cinnamon Toast that's Crunch is not trash. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is trash. It's not trash. I like I was, Cheerios I as a first cereal. List. Smacks. What? Yeah, Smacks. Smacks back, is your first cereal? Back in the day, Smacks, yeah. Captain Crunch. Yes, your first cereal got to either be like Fruit Loops. Lucky Charms. Or like Apple Jacks. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is Pops. like a wealthy first cereal. <laughs> All right, we got Yanks up. Top of the eighth. Pause. And Judge is back. Shout out to him. Uh, but I'm off of this. I'm not. I'm not rooting for them until they start winning. <laughs> that's real. That's honest. Yeah, man. I, 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 nah, I, I think. That. I think. I don't we'll, really pay attention. I think to we'll baseball. get that wild card game. We'll get Oakland the fuck out of here. We'll have a nice run. Uh, Oakland is tough. <laughs> pay attention to baseball until like next week at least. I don't, I don't know if the Yankees beat Oakland in a wild card. Well, they doing the game that bullshit one game thing this year. Uh, yeah. yeah. Do that every year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if they're going to win. <laughs> but I got us winning. Uh, good luck to them. Us. <laughs> you hear Rory, man? I got us winning. You're from Queens, man. Bro, I, everyone, you're who's not a Yankee fan? You're no, a Met. Not, no one was a Mets fan yeah, back then. You're a Mets. Nobody square. was. <laughs> the square. Yeah. It's not from Queens. <laughs> from the square. Yeah, the from square. the path train. <laughs> Shout out to the path. How you from the path? <laughs> yeah. Square. That's the end. All right, we'll talk to you guys next. No, we won't. Saturday, not next week. God yeah, damn we'll it. We'll talk to you in a couple days, days, man. We'll talk to you all in a few days. Until then, we bid you adieu. Bid you adieu. Shut up, That's whack. I'll figure it out.